Hello, dad man. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello it is nice to see you guys and it's a new week you know i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy you guys are here you know you know we made it through another week and we started another one and it's the worst day of the week but you know it's it's fine it's fine because we and uh we're suffering through it together. No, actually, today has not been bad at all. <laughs> For once, no. <laughs> what is this emote? Actually, I don't remember who... I don't remember if anyone asked me to add it or if I found it myself. I don't remember. But I have a feeling someone found it and, and wanted me to add it. But I, I don't remember who. <laughs> Could have been Panda. Could have been Palm. Um, <laughs> but hey, Orion and Chris, it is nice to see you. It's fine. You didn't get that memo. Wait, you you've had a you've had a Tuesday today, like an actual Tuesday. <sighs> I feel for you though. I do. No, I mean today has just been kind of neutral. It hasn't been it hasn't been good or bad. It's just been. It's just been neutral, I guess. <laughs> but I hope, I hope you guys are, uh, did you have a good weekend, by the way? Did you have a good weekend? Because mine was very mixed, I have to say. I had a, I had a lot of migraines, <laughs> but at the same time, I also... I'm a little bit obsessed with uh, Manor Lords now. Um, I started playing it on Sunday. I started playing- no wait, it was actually Saturday after stream. Not right after stream, but it was like... I just- I'm just gonna give it a go. I'm not gonna be playing for too long. Um, well, I think I played for at least two and a half hours. That wasn't my intention, I was just gonna see how it was. Since then, do, does anyone want to guess how many hours I have in the game? <laughs> because it's embarrassing. <laughs> it was it was embarrassing um, to see, but it was incredible. Yeah, you've been playing uh, Elden Ring. How how much? Wait, how many streams have you played it now? Has it been two? Because I've been. I've been really careful, even when it comes to like lurking in people's streams now. I'm not gonna mention any names, but I did lurk in someone's stream, and then they raided out to someone who was playing it. I was like, Jesus Christ, and I almost like, I kind of got spoiled in a little way, like, in, in, but I, I just blocked it out, so I don't even remember what it is at this point. But it was like, this is this is something that I don't want to see. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Get it out of get it get it out of here. <laughs> um. 30? No. No, not quite that bad. But it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been a lot. Um, are you feeling anxious, irritated, insecure? Like even a little thing could make you... I feel that. I feel that. You don't like or want that, but at the same time you're feeling okay -ish right now, but it's like you feel very unstable. I, you know, I've actually been a little bit like that today as well, but hopefully I won't piss you off. Hopefully I won't be the one to set you off the, 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 set, 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 hmm, off the edge. You, you know, I can't word today, <laughs> but then again, when can I, when can I, I don't know. Another game got its claws into it, the burger just have got you. Know, yeah, well, I mean, I can, I I can have more than one obsession at a time. <laughs> but yeah, it's true, it's true. Uh, but I I have not been playing today though. I did I did keep my word to myself. What game? Uh, Manor Lords. 
You've gotten too many spoilers? Oh no. I have actually... I, I saw some names. Uh, again, I blocked them out. Um, but now I have two people that I follow on Twitter that I have muted. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to tweet about it because if I do, I I know that some piece of shit is gonna post spoilers just to be an asshole. So I'm not telling anyone on Twitter, but I'm telling you guys now that anyone that I follow who is posting anything about Elden Ring, I will mute you. It's just I. It's nothing personal, but I will. <laughs> you played 17 hours on Friday and six on Monday. Hmm. Yeah, I did- I did see that you were streaming two days, I just didn't remember which days. But 17 hours, that's pretty wild. Is that the longest you ever streamed? You can't even scroll YouTube or TikTok anymore. Just- just click on stuff on YouTube so you get different videos recommended to you. Maybe- maybe just fix the algorithm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I- it's- it's difficult to navigate the internet when when there are a ton of spoilers mm, but it's in, it was incredible fantastic and also terrible was it because it was difficult there are moments in your days where you can't do things how you do them and it really messes with some of your daily routines i feel you there ryan i'm sorry though Yeah, it really sucks. It really sucks when that happens because um, it's like when you plan to do something, it's like your whole day revolves around that thing. And if something messes it up, then it's like the whole day is just ruined. And I wish it wasn't like that. Craig? Today's second? <laughs> How you doing, Craig? Hope you had a good weekend. I I did. I did. It was... I mean, I did have some migraines. Um, I actually had a migraine today as well, but uh, I took I took my meds. But... Yeah, I'm, I've, I've had a good weekend. I've had a good weekend. I will say that... Um, Manor Lords was also at fault. <laughs> that also gave me a migraine <laughs> on Sunday. Uh, there are not many things right now that you want to watch on YouTube, so that's why it's also a struggle. You don't want to get two random things. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I rarely watch anything on YouTube, to be honest. Um... It's only to have like background sounds sometimes, like actual sounds, not anyone talking or anything, or and no video about anything. It's just to have like background sounds. Um, that's mainly what I use YouTube for. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, today we are gonna continue playing in. Uh, I, I always want to say in space and time, <laughs> in stars and time. In stars and time, that's what we're gonna be playing today. Um, we did first start playing that on Saturday during the raid train. Oh yeah, shit! I forgot to. It was like I summoned it. I need to. I need to. I forgot to to disable that. Um, let me just do that real quick. Stars in space and time. I mean, it's not wrong. It is not wrong. Yeah, we were part of a raid train on Saturday. That's why the time, like, there's a timer on that one, which I should, uh, you know, should, should remove it. Um, yeah, so it was a pride raid train where we were going to play games that are LGBTQIA+. I kept, I, I realized that I kept saying LGBTQI and then plus after I instead of saying A. Or if I did, I actually went back and listened. I don't, it, it, they just kind of blended together and that was not my intention. Um, so I apologize for that. 
But that's kind of why there's, uh, it's good that there's a plus there. So it's like you don't actually exclude anyone. You just, you just kind of forget some letters. It happens. It happens to the best. <laughs> but yeah, so um, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to continue playing the game. Um, we didn't get too far into it, though. So it's basically at the beginning. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. Hey, Pickley! How you doing, Pickley? Hope you're doing well. Mm, did take the raid command as uh, No, I didn't. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that as well. Uh I well The commands aren't that big of a deal though, because like they're um they won't pop up unless you use that specific command. Um but yeah. Start, start in stars in space and time. <laughs> Doing well playing DLC instead of being productive. You know what? That is okay, Pickley. Because having fun is also productive. Or are you having fun? Or are you just is it just painful? <laughs> no, um I, I feel you though. This weekend I also had every intention of being a little bit productive at least. I managed to do one one round of laundry. That was that was pretty much all the productivity that I had this weekend. Because I was stuck playing Manor Lords. And for those of you who who were here for that, when I asked you how if you wanted to guess how many hours I spent since opening the game early Sunday morning, late Saturday night, I don't I don't remember. I think it was like 4.30 when I opened the game. Um, since then I've played 20 hours. <laughs> That's why I never play like city builder games because they're very addictive. They are super addictive because it's like there's not something that happens all the time but it happens frequently enough for you to like like just just a little bit more and then you wait and see what happens and then there's like it just keeps you hooked for so long by doing so little and it really pisses me off sometimes i don't really play these games because i know that this is how it's gonna go it's how it's gonna go and uh, that's why i i tweeted today that I, I'm not going to open the game today. I'm not going to open it today. Because it's evil. It's an evil, evil game. A time stealer. That's what it is. Painfully fun, yeah. You are exploring now. Spent four and a half hours beating a boss light last night. Damn. But you did it, though. You did it, though. I'm playing DLCs, being productive, but different way. It's true. It's true. You started the DLC the other day, and I was like, this seems tough and scary, so you have not been able to continue after that, but the place seems so cool. Yeah. The only- the only spoilers I've- I've gotten, which I wouldn't consider spoiler because it's- it's just been from the trailers and stuff. But it does look cool. Glad you're enjoying it. Well, en enjoying it, th that's... That, that's difficult to say. <laughs> it's difficult to say. I mean, no, I, I am enjoying it, but it's just... I'm trying to do other things and then it just won't let me because I'm like, I just couldn't, gotta wait another season or like just, just, just another month or whatever and then stuff happens and I feel like I can't leave because oh no I need to make sure that they have enough food now I uh, oh no it just it's just annoying <laughs> SimCity 3000 was your life for a bit back in the day so you know the struggle you know the struggle you know it will take certain capacity for you to be able to play so you can you can't just play it at will. Yeah. 
I feel like sometimes you just need to be in the right mood for it too. Um, you need to kind of prepare for it, I guess. When you know it's gonna be a struggle. Hey Robin, happy Tuesday. So a smiling face show up on your streamer bar. Oh, that, that makes me happy. I hope you're doing well though. Hope you're doing well, Robin. Yeah, so today we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna continue in, in, in stars and time, which is, um, I feel like it's a perfect mix between Undertale and Amori. Um, because it's like, it's, it's an RPG, um, but unlike Undertale where you're just alone, in this one you, I think you're gonna be playing as a party, which is how it is in Amori. So it's like a party-based RPG, um, but it's like the humor and, and everything seems very, uh, very Undertale too. Um, I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Speaking of Amori though, I didn't know about this, but I saw a tweet on, on well, a tweet on Twitter. <laughs> I saw a tweet today um, that mentioned that there was a, a manga of it now where they have they released the first chapter for free but it was only for uh, people in the US so I couldn't I couldn't see it but I also didn't want to because I also read it in one of the comments that apparently tomorrow it's gonna like the full volume is gonna be released in Japan and so when it gets translated and, and released in English, I, I really want to read it. I didn't even know that it was a manga now. And I'm really looking forward to it because it's one of my favorite games. I'm just I'm just not really in the know with every single thing. <laughs> so I it, it just I I didn't even know about it. But that was really cool news though. It was really cool. kind of want to play bulge gear 3 a bit more right now mm. yeah i i that's also why i didn't get into like my my second playthrough of elden ring because i was just too hyper focused on on baldish gate 3 and like i'm still i still am but i feel like i can i can manage to play other games now as well which was really difficult for me before like even off stream i couldn't play anything else it just it was only Baldur's Gate 3 <laughs> but now I can slowly but surely be in the mood to play other things so that's that's good uh, so that's also why like I couldn't force myself to play the like Elden Ring again it just didn't feel right and even though like that was my plan that I was gonna start a new playthrough before the the, the DLC so I would be prepared, but I just didn't feel like it. I didn't want to. Um, because there was only room for one game. <laughs> so, but now, now I feel like it's gonna be okay though. Under Mori, yeah, Under Mori. <laughs> also 2000 hours in Civ 5, damn. Maybe you would like uh, Manor Lords as well. Have you played it? Because, I mean, it's in early access though. That's kind of why I was so hesitant because it looks really good and I wanted to play it, but I, I, I'm very hesitant about playing early access games. I don't really like it because I, in with most games, I feel like I need to, to play it as I'm only going to be playing it once. I can't treat a game as if I'm going to be playing it more than once. And if I am going to be, play, be playing it just that one time, it needs to be finished, I feel like. I know why games are in early access. Um, like, the, the, the good reasons games are in early access. And that is totally understandable. But usually I prefer to stay away until the game is completely done and released. But with this game, it's like, it doesn't really have a... Um, well, it's meant to be played more than once, I guess. So this is a little bit different, you know? So I, I was okay with that. 
And there's still a, a few things that are locked behind the um, behind it being early access. So like not everything is available yet to that is advertised kind of in the game. Um, but so far it's really good. And it's just one person who's made it. And he's spent like seven years making it. So I totally understand why he wants to have it in early access. It makes complete sense. And it looks really fucking good too for it to be just one person. I mean, even if it wasn't just one person, but it's like, it's extra impressive is what I'm saying. <laughs> it just makes it more impressive. The last like, game you finished was a run through of Little Kitty Big City with your spouse. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen uh, quite a few people haven't been enjoying that lately. It looks really cute. But how, how did you guys like it, though? You also struggle because you don't see anything you can do before going to the boat. And that is too scary and anxiety. And you just can't play that. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Well, have you found all of dribbles, though? <laughs> That's something you can do. We want to find El uh, find Elden Ring and boss so badly. I need casual games because most games to and uh, being cozy casual, you don't play casually. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not really a set rule for me, but I feel the same way. Like off stream, I tend to play games that are very chill and easy to to like put down and then pick up again um like very casual games not too like story based or anything you have not it is it like another SimCity skylines kind of game yeah but it's like medieval um uh, but it's like very realistic as well um it was just on sale though. I think it, it was on sale until, until the 23rd. I think it was like 25% off. Um, but hey, Jaunty, today's third. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's really good. It is really good. Um, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Have you played Have you played Frostpunk, for example? I think that was the last game that I played that was similar to what I'm playing now. And I also really enjoyed that, and I was also super obsessed with that. <laughs> I've been told you'd get addicted to Satisfactory or Factorio if you played those two. Mm. I've heard Satisfactory is really good. Factorio, I also have heard a lot of people talk a lot about, and I tried it. And I refunded it. It was like that was my first game on Steam that I ever refunded because I just it just didn't grab me right away, and it just didn't look good to me. So I just refunded it. <laughs> like a game needs to grab me uh, in some way, and there was just nothing there for me. So I just refunded it. That's, that feels very underwhelming to run around after the body parts without any clues. But it's something to do, though. <laughs> it is something to do in the game. Before progressing, I mean. It's like Stardew Valley is a very fun game, but you don't play casually. You're not min-maxer, but you don't really play that like, casually. But you do like how you play it, but it just takes a lot of effort or capacity in a specific way. But I think it's also because that is a story-based game too, right? Because it's not that casual. Stardew Valley isn't that casual. Like on the surface, it might seem like it is, but it's not. So I wouldn't really say that, I wouldn't say that it's casual. Um, like cozy, sure, but not casual. Um, Because there's too much story for it to be uh to be that in my opinion at least you can be very picky with your games too so you get it mm. 
Yeah, like visually especially, I tend to get very picky. And um, that was actually funny enough how it was with Stardew Valley as well. Like I, it took me a while before I bought it, even though like I played it in like the first time, when, when was it that I got it? I don't remember, but it wasn't when it was brand new. And I just, it, it got, it was recommended to me so, for so long on Steam. And I was like, ah, but it's pixel graphics uh, and, and, you know, and it's just, it's very simple looking in a way. Like it. I will, I, at that time, I my opinion on pixel graphics games was like, I played a bunch of pixel graphics game growing up. I need, to, I, like, I want to move on from that now. Like, technology has moved on from that. Now I want to move on as well. <laughs> I want a little bit more like modern graphics in my games. Is what I thought. Now it's like now I can tell the difference between. Well, when it comes to different art styles with pixel graphics too. Like back then it was the the way that they made them because it was just Well, things were a little bit more limited, I guess. And now it's more like easier for for indie developers to do it because it's if they have more focus on other things than the graphics, then it makes sense. So for me, it needs to it needed to have like um, something else that was appealing to me that made me forget that it was pixel graphics, if that makes sense. So that's how it was with me and, and Stardew Valley. Like I played it despite feeling that way, and then when I played it, I you know. I actually really enjoy it. <laughs> now I don't feel that way though anymore. Now now I play a bunch of pixel graphics games and it's not really something that stops me from playing it. But it used to be. It used to be. When you have gotten uh, perfection, you feel like there is nothing to do because you don't want to just get money for the sake of it. Wait, uh, it's like Stardew Valley. Wait, no, no, I, I, I read that. Um, ranked competitive Stardew. <laughs> you think you had mentioned it before, but ages ago you played Last of Us with the second hardest difficulty without had to like relax after you got frustrated with Bloodborne, for example. You don't personally want to play ranked in any game <laughs> for some reason that makes you do worse and get anxiety. But at the same time, you would. It would be cool to see where you could place among other people. Yeah, because you used to play a lot of... Uh, I don't know how if you do any more, but you used to play League. How do you play that? It would be cool to do like challenges in Stardew Valley, but you can't decide what you should try. Hmm. Hey, Marty! How you doing? And because you can't decide, if, uh, decide for yourself for some reason. Hmm. I hope you're doing well, mod. And Overwatch League has different queues, ranked and not ranked. Hmm. I've never played League, and I've never played Overwatch. I I don't I don't really play competitive games. <laughs> um, so I, I don't really know how the. I just know that obviously it's a competitive game, so it has to be probably most likely ranked in some way, but. I don't know any specifics about it. But good, good, I'm glad, I'm glad. <laughs> good, good, I'm glad, I'm glad. That's good to hear. I'm doing pretty, pretty, pretty okay today. Pretty, pretty neutral, I would say. <laughs> not good, not bad. I actually did have a migraine earlier, but now I'm doing good. So, some somewhere in between, I guess. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> we don't think you ever played Overwatch ranked, but you have played some League ranked years ago. You played with a couple of people. The flex queue where you could queue with many people. Hmm. And that was also more because the other people wanted it, not you. I see, I see. I see, I see. But yeah, should we we can we can we can play the game. We're gonna be playing a game today, guys. Also, I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded my my uh, my two most recent VODs. Um, I have I have exported it to YouTube, but I haven't made it public, so it's just privated. Because I still need to make the thumbnails and stuff. That's usually what takes me the longest: the fact that I need to make thumbnails. <laughs> Otherwise, I could I could posted like maybe seven hours after after the stream you know um is because i have to make stupid thumbnails <laughs> but i also kind of like it so it's like i just wish it didn't take so much work to do that's all Yeah, so I've been playing the couple of times this year, and it has been very low point for you. Mm. Yeah, I, I've heard. Um, uh, I, I think that's that's what Panda says too. That when he starts playing more League, that that means that he something something wrong is happening. <laughs> but the thumbnails look nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's like, like, I have to make sure that I, I take screenshots from the stream itself of both myself from that stream, but also from the game. So I need to make sure that I, like, I go through the VOD to find something of me, and then I need to go back into the game in an older save to find something that I did during that stream. If I don't take a screenshot during the stream, which I rarely do, and then I need to put it all together, and that, that that's why it takes it takes a while. <laughs> it takes a while. Um, so, and when it has to be different each time, it's like I can't just stock up on on pictures for you for like ahead of time for each vod. I could do that. I did do, do that with Animal Well um, and Snuffkin, I guess. It depends on the games. But when it comes to something like, uh, like a longer game, where it, it's important to know what each VOD is supposed to be about, I feel like I need to put more effort into it, like Baldur's Gate. And comp like, I didn't do that in my first playthrough, so comparing the VODs from the first playthrough to my current one, the views are also very different. Because no one wants to click on on a, a thumbnail that just has a number on it. Well, I mean, I guess I just didn't put a lot of effort into it. I just I just wanted to get them out there, you know. So they're just numbered with the same back, like the same picture of of from the game and me. <laughs> so it's just it's just the same. It the, the only difference is that they have different numbers. So, I didn't put a lot of effort into it. It was just enough effort for me to actually make them into VODs. <laughs> right is fucking stuff up like, um, exactly for you as well. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how it usually is, isn't it? It helps to distinguish them for sure. Mm. Yeah, and I figured I'm I changed the titles too to reflect what is happening in each VOD as well. And it has helped. It has helped. Um I'm not saying that they, they don't get a lot of use either way, but the quite a few more than in, in the first playthrough. So It helps. It helps with the, the the accumulated hours people watch in total. 
Also, like how he put on the dark urge, the first thumbnail is like upside down. It feels like you don't. <laughs> well, do you, I mean you probably know where the the? Um, it's it's not actually upside down. It's it's like that. It's when you first crash uh, from from the the Nautiloid and you're on the ground. Then it kind of um, when you wake up on the beach, you are seen upside down so that that's what it is <laughs> that that's what the the screenshot is from but i'm i'm glad you like it though i i just wanted it actually I, I just took that one wasn't actually planned i have to say <laughs> you're very anxious about arcane too because of what right have has been saying about the lore of the game, like Rune and Terra and are, are I, I don't know any of these. Um, you trust the artist and those people, but you have greedy fucking bastard, right? Doesn't fuck shit up. Yeah, it's dangerous when they they make when they adapt something you love because there's such a huge chance that they're gonna fuck it up. In general, not just because of the the company itself, um, it just feels appropriate for some reason. Mm, mm. Well, I'm glad you like it though. I'm glad you like it. But yeah, let's open the game. Um, let's open the game. We've been we've been yapping for long enough, I guess. No, actually, you know that that's that's wrong because I I really enjoy just sitting and chatting. <laughs> I do enjoy singing and chatting, as long as there's uh, something to, to to talk about, I guess. Well, I mean, there's always something to talk about, but you know, sometimes we're more talkative than other times at the beginning of stream. And it usually depends on how much people have to say before I go into the game. Um, but yeah, let us... Let us open the game. I'm I'm excited to see how this is gonna gonna be. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just pause the music. It's like with Undertale where you have to hit F4 to uh, make the the window full screen. So I actually knew from Undertale, like, oh, I, I knew how to do this. <laughs> I know how to do this. Uh, oh yeah, I need to I need to turn on the uh, the chat box again. <gasps> it works today. It didn't work last time. I really like this music. It's because Arcane is like adaptation of the lore. Yeah, yeah, I, I, which you would call Rune Terra lore, and it works so well because it's adaptation. But they have said they want to make Arcane canon in Rune Terra, but that would fuck up a bunch of champions lore, and some characters wouldn't even exist because it's like direct, not there, and they just saw Arcane do well, and now. It Hmm. That was months ago. Wait, month a couple of months ago. Well, hopefully they will they will adapt it into something that you will be happy with, Orion. I hope so. But that is my character. It's true, it's true. I really like my character, it's really cute. Yeah. You thank the change god for its blessing and quickly run away. Look, I have a witch hat. Damn, I should have put on a witch hat today. <laughs> Oof, look at you. So scrawny. Scrawny one. Did you know you can press X to run? I did not. You should give it a try sometime. Oh, 
And did you know you can turn on always run in your options menu? So you can run all the time? Are we gonna speed run? <laughs> did you know? Did you know about this? Did you know pressing X makes you run? Did you know? Did you know you can run all the time by going into the options menu? Do you run? Do you like running? More of a lazy, take it easy type. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Disgusting. I, I, I mean, uh, understandable. You look like you've never run ran a day in your life. So you need to build up those muscles. Get fast. It's swole. And press X to run. <laughs> Rude. You may look scrawny, but you're definitely the fastest one out of your group. Hm. I mean, that is kind of rude, isn't it? Would it be crazy if there was a hat redeem? Oh, I forgot about that. This door seems to be locked. Interesting. You didn't think a welcoming village like Dormont knew how to lock doors. The lock keeping it closed has an interesting shape. It doesn't have a hole for a key. Hmm. Yeah, I, I remember I, I disabled that last summer just because it was too hot to use hats. <laughs> it was just too hot to, to use any hats. Uh, and to be fair, it is pretty hot right now. The Ronnie hat isn't that hot though, but I also have headphones, so it's... I also had it before I started using headphones. Oh yeah, we went in here when we got the croissant. <laughs> the sign says a favor, favor tree. There's a new Zelda coming out soon. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. We saw the uh, a direct when they showed all the new Nintendo games. They look cute though. Isabel is probably at the tree. You shouldn't bother him shouldn't bother him okay the sign says East Dormont clock tower wait did we go in here yeah we did did we go in here we did <laughs> we did everything last time <gasps> it's a is that a sheep two sheep Meh. 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 Drawing kid. This kid seems to be drawing pictures of someone. <gasps> it's Mirabelle. It is Mirabelle. The kid beams at you. They shuffle their drawings around and show you another one. <gasps> it's a me! It's you. It's me! The kid smiles and kicks their feet happily. You really like their art. Maybe. Can you draw me something I can take with me? The kid looks at you for a moment and then gets to work. <gasps> it's all of us. I mean, I would assume. It's you and your friends. It's me and my friends. <laughs> the kid makes a happy noise and gives you the drawing. You got the friendship doodle. You put the drawing in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Thank you, talented one. The kid laughs happily and gets back to drawing. The kid grins at you and gets back to drawing. Okay. Uh, I forgot to make the quote about the monster pain. Wait, the monster pain? <laughs> you hope you'll finish your Baldur's Gate 3 second run before that comes out. You've been in the Act 3 forever. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you on your second playthrough now in, your, in Act 3? You want to draw as well now? <laughs> Only monsters like pain, the pain. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That one. They, that one. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's a barrel. It's full of soil for gardening. Well, I didn't forget it, but I forgot what I said uh, about it. A bunch of flowers. Flower growing one. 
Hello. Ah, aren't you one of the savior, uh, saviors traveling with Mirabel? You're doing so much for us. I wish I could help you in some way. I know. I grow flowers. Beautiful flowers that could make someone you like happy. Here, have one. You could keep it. Gift it to someone special. You got the bright flower. You put the flower in your pocket along with your souvenirs. You can give the flower to one of your party members by talking to them. Mm -hmm. I've been doing your second run since before I finished my first. So I see, I see. Uh, the closet is full of gardening supplies. Yeah, it's the same as what they said last time. Uh, you made a clip of the moment, but you forgot to post it in the Discord. <clears throat> oh yeah, I haven't I haven't checked to see if anyone made any clips. Like, because sometimes people make clips and they don't post them, but also sometimes people do it because they forget that they actually make clips, so it just doesn't have a title or anything. Sometimes it's because... Yeah, this is, this is just... I've mentioned this before, but I know that some people tend to forget. When you click on the clip uh, button on the stream, just clicking on that and opening it a new window, even if you just close that, it creates a clip. Um, so there's a lot of the time there's a bunch of clips that just has the stream title and nothing else because people don't realize that they actually make clips without intending to. Um, Can you pet the sheep? I don't think so. Um, I have to confess, you've already a couple of times clicked the button on accident when you didn't mean to make a clip. No, I, I know. It, it's, it's totally fine. I I, like, I don't mind. Sometimes I use the, the clip function to, if I miss something that the, the person on stream said, and I wanted to, to hear what they said, um, I just go back and make a clip and then I just delete it because I like I didn't mean to make a clip I just wanted to hear what you said <laughs> um, what happened to the other usual chatters is it because it's summer and people are busy mm, I don't know I don't know to be fair though most of my streams are have been doing pretty badly <laughs> since since maybe my birthday so you know it's not it's not that uncommon um that things go up and down a little bit but i mean people have their reasons i i don't know <laughs> one time you miss uh time the clip so you had to just close it mm. yeah that happens too it also happened the first time you chatted after the time you were away, uh, away as well mm. Shells full of, with various foods. Being near them makes your stomach grumble. Um, some recipes. Some crafted paintings of various meals. You also done that when you make a couple of make it make a quote so you don't mistype it, but then usually you make it as a clip as well. So hear what I said. <laughs> hey, the clip function is very useful for a lot of different things. <laughs> Beautiful cutlery. Who is this person? Beautiful one. Oh. Hello, traveler. Of the smell in here isn't too overpowering. I'm cooking a lot of different things for tomorrow. All of us at Dormont talked uh, a few days back, and we decided that while you'll be exploring the house of fight- Wait. And we decided that while you'll be exploring the house to fight the king, Everyone in the village will be partying. That way, if you win, we'll already have the party in full swing. <laughs> but if you don't, and we all get frozen by the king's curse, we'll be frozen in time, but at least we'll be happy. A party. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Good for you? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Ah, I can tell you find that weird. Even if the end is coming for us, it's still a new form of change. And any type of change deserves to be celebrated. Vogard is so weird. <laughs> I 
kitchen station. Whatever they, they're cooking, it smells heavenly. Hope it will get better to serve it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Honestly, though, it's it's mostly, most likely because... Uh, well... Things went really well when I was playing Baldur's Gate 3 for the first time. Like, my first stream. That's probably been one of the best experiences that I've ever had on Twitch. Um, but then, when I started my second playthrough, suddenly people weren't as interested anymore. I think it's also because people prefer to watch first playthroughs. When you play more than one, it's like people lose interest because it's like they, they just want to see your first reactions to things, I guess. Um, so, it hasn't been the best for my stream that I also started a second playthrough right away. Um, so that that is also partially the reason why. Like, people... I've, I've seen patterns. And you know, that's totally fair as well. But... Um, so that, that is also a, a reason for it, I suppose. Um... And also, you know, I, I haven't really talked about this because it's like, I don't know, should I talk about it? Should I just keep it to myself? Maybe, maybe not. I don't I don't really care, but um these days, like I get new followers and stuff, but it's like for every follower that I get, I lose two more. So it's like I never really like the follow count doesn't really go up. It just stays the same. So <laughs> And every time I go live, people start unfollowing me too. So it's like, oh, I just reminded them that I exist, so now they just don't want to follow me anymore. <laughs> so most of the time, I just like, maybe I should just take a break so that people can actually uh, not be reminded that I'm here. I don't <laughs> it just sounds so sad, but like, it just, that's kind of how I think sometimes. It's like, maybe, maybe do they just need to forget about me a little bit, you know? Maybe I'm just too much online maybe i'm just too I was, I was about to say available but that sounds weird um <laughs> it's not exactly what i meant but I, like so i have been thinking that maybe it would be best for my stream um to just take a break that that's been on my mind quite a bit lately too that maybe it will be just better for me to take a break um because I feel like a lot of people are tired of me at this point. <laughs> and sure, it does it does bother, bother me a little bit, but you know, it's like, it happens. It, that's, that's how it is with streaming. It doesn't mean that it doesn't bother me though, but it, it is what it is. Um... Would it be helpful to give it a name like not a clip or accidental clip for the clip? Uh, or is it better to just not... To not just name it then if that happens? I mean, I don't I don't really care either way. <laughs> because... I mean, you can also just delete it if you want to. Um, but yeah, I mean... I will understand either way what it what it's for. That it wasn't intended to be a clip, so you know. You can delete the clip. Yeah, you can you can delete your own clips. Um But Dirt has a new story, new reactions. Yeah, but people who aren't familiar with the game don't really know that, I guess. Or maybe they just I don't know. I also know that some people don't really like watching streams with RPGs because it's like if they... This is something that I've heard quite a few people say, that they find it hard to follow. So if they miss a stream, they don't know what happens and then they just stop watching the stream altogether. If they miss more than one stream, or if they just miss one stream, they just stop showing up because they can't follow the story. Um... So that is also a challenge by playing those types of games on stream. It's mostly for the people who already are invested in 
the games and, and that's also partially like that well actually that's the main reason if i'm being honest why i made vods of the playthrough so that people who were interested but missed out on stuff could catch up if they wanted to um i mean that's what the vods are for to begin with um but how did you get playing get to playing bulge k3 actually you think you remember said Weren't sure if we were going to play it before. Um, well, I did say... This is something that I said since the game came out. That I was gonna um, wait until it went on sale. I did say that... I was gonna prioritize Liza P when it came out. Which came out in September, so it was like... Well close-ish um also we're getting an ad by the way but i'm just gonna talk during the ad anyway um so i was i was thinking that i wanted to play it but i wasn't i wasn't in any rush to play it so i i told myself that once it go, goes on sale i'll buy it then i'll buy it when it goes on sale and I did. That's that's when I bought it. It was during Christmas. I think it was only like 10% off, but I did I did say I didn't say how much it would go on sale that I would buy it, but uh, you know, it worked out. It worked out. So I I bought it around Christmas when it went on sale and then I started playing it on New Year's Eve. Um You see, although you thought most of the people were just friends, I I know everyone that is on in my stream, I know from streaming. <laughs> like, I don't know anyone in my stream IRL. Um, everyone has, has just been people that I've gotten to know through streaming. Making yourself desirable is a French saying, not sure it works in English. <laughs> I, I, I understand what you mean, though. But yeah, you can delete the clips. Um, You think it's also because people watch for different reasons as well. True, true. For people who can't follow, you understand, but it was val uh, valid also in the first playthrough. But Sodon, Clever, Palm, Sarah, etc. I haven't seen them in a while, but you're also way on vacation. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It, it's probably because it's also summer, but I... People have their own lives going on as well, so... I don't really know. But... I mean, to be fair, Sarah hasn't... Wasn't here during my first playthrough either, because he was gonna... He didn't want to get, um, spoiled. So, so, it's mostly been when I haven't been playing Bulge Gate 3 that he's been here <laughs> because he wouldn't get spoiled. <laughs> uh, but he also has a different um, sleep schedule. Um, he has usually gone to bed pretty early on uh, as well. A sale is a sale, it's true. It is true. And I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't specify. <laughs> I didn't specify. But yeah, it, I just wasn't, wasn't in any rush. And honestly, I feel like it was a good call for me. I did mention this quite a few times though, Orion, during my first playthrough that I was like, I wish Orion was here for this. <laughs> so many times I said that, so many times. Um. Because I also felt really bad, uh, because you were so excited to talk about it, and I couldn't talk to you about it when you did, because I hadn't played it yet. Um, so then when I could talk about it, I couldn't talk to you about it. <laughs> so I was like, oh damn, I missed, I, I missed my chance. <laughs> I missed my chance to talk about it. Um, so... Um, 
But yeah, I am... Um... I feel like it was a good call, though, to wait for as long as I did, because... I... I... I didn't want people to get spoiled either, and at that point, a lot of people hadn't... And, like, they had had the chance to, to finish the game themselves as well, and, um... I got to know a lot of new people as well. Um... That I wouldn't have known otherwise. And... It's only because I played it when I did. <laughs> I don't- I don't know if it would have been the same if I had played it earlier. Um... I think when go, uh, go to the end stuff, you will not watch, so you will not get spoiled as well. That's totally fair, Ryan. That is totally fair. I don't know when that's gonna happen, though. Um, probably gonna... Well, tomorrow we're gonna do House of Grief. And then House of Hope after that. Maybe answer? I don't know. I just... it It's not necessary for... For this playthrough, but I just want to see how it goes. For an honor mode run, like difficulty wise, so I kind of want to see how it how it plays out. Sleep schedule reminds you that you won't be able to follow as much when you move back to Fran uh, France. <laughs> you also you also go to bed pretty early. Wait, so you are moving now? Have you found a? Have you decided that you, you will do that for sure now? I mean, that's totally fair, though, because we are... Um, well, we will be in the same time zone-ish. If not the same time zone, you will be an hour ahead, which means that you will go to sleep even earlier. Yeah, that's the reason why this, this stream, like, Tuesday streams are a little bit earlier than the others, because it's the only, only time that I need to get up or go to bed a little bit earlier than the other days. Honestly, that felt so rough when you realized you played Baldur's Gate 3 because at the same time you're so happy, but the fact that you couldn't be able to talk about it as well... no. You just ate breakfast be before the stream started because you went to sleep after June went to work? Oh. Hey. It happens. I wish that I could do the same thing. I mean, I still do to some degree, but... I really shouldn't, but I don't know how not to. More like a power nap. <laughs> Your Canadian work permit ends early January, so you leave for Christmas and never come back. Oh, that's good. That is good. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. I realized that I just had the game running in the background. <laughs> That's a burb! Pew pew! Pew pew! It's a chonky bird. Sky loving kid. The kid still dances as she looks at you curiously. You look so weird. Are you from up in the sky? Are you? How did you know? <laughs> yes! I knew it. If you're from the sky, then. I'm going to give this back to you. <gasps> I got a four-pointed leaf? Put the leaf in your pocket along with your souvenirs. It fell from the sky, but I'm giving it back. Thank you for this gift. Aw. Mm -hmm. Kit nods st uh, stoically. Wizard-loving kid. <laughs> hey. Hey, big-hatted one. My mother talked about you. She said you're a traveler with a big hat, but it doesn't mean you're a wizard. Because wizards aren't real. Are you a wizard? You wish. Nope, just a traveler. Boring. The kid turns away and ignores you. So mean. That is mean. The little girl making a frog embroidery seems too shy to make eye contact with you. Nah. Hmm, the sign says clock tower. 
This is the way to the clock tower, but you should go talk to everyone else and check the change god statue first. Oh. I see, I see. <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's a... Dancing flower. <laughs> but about the stream audience thing, maybe if you call it Evil Run, it would attract people more, because the, they would know you're doing something very different story-wise than your first run. Yeah, maybe. At the same time, though... I don't know if people would care if they don't really or like if they don't already know I don't, I don't know I don't know but now it's almost done though the whole playthrough I mean, I didn't know what dirge meant either um, until I'd play the game I mean, I'm not I'm not sure if people actually care all that much um blind one oh someone there yeah hello aha hello there oh i don't recognize your voice are you perhaps one of the saviors i knew it i knew it it's very nice to meet you i met another one of you earlier they smelled like snacks. A little kid by the name of Bonnie, was it? If you're looking for them, I heard them go past the bridge just south of here a little while ago. They went to look at my veggie field, talked to me about my veggie field, and went back to look at my veggie field. I was like, did I read that right? He said veggie field like three times. <laughs> they said my ve vegetable looked really shiny and delicious. So I would die... So I would die for them now. <laughs> that is a whole mood, though. <laughs> uh, uh, perhaps I shouldn't make such jokes, considering... Considering they might actually die soon because of the King's Curse. That's a good point. That is a good point. The door seems to be locked. Interesting. You didn't think of welcoming... Yeah, 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 it's the same dialogue as before. Veggie field. <laughs> Despicable gen Yeah, that, that is us. That's a barrel. Is this the kid we're looking for? A barrel. It's full of carrots. Bonnie's here, looking morosely at the fields. Bonnie. Hey, friend. Oh, boy. What do you want? Questions. Hmm. Clock tower. Sleepover. Sleepover? That's pretty dumb. Was it your idea? Hey. Mirrors, actually. Oh. That is a great idea. Why didn't you come... Why didn't you come up with it? So everyone just likes Mirabel for no reason at all. And everyone hates me. <laughs> Stars. You do not know how to deal with Bonnie anymore. Questions. Hmm. Are worrying about tomorrow? No. Not even a little bit. That's a lie. Your sister will be okay, you know. Don't talk about my sister. And anyway, I don't need to worry about her. It's not like she's gonna move from her, her spot. Bonnie's sister is... B bamboosh? Bamboosh? <laughs> a coastal village... B Bonnie's sister is in Bamboosh. A coastal vi village hundreds of kilometers from here. A few months ago, the king froze their whole village in time. Unless you manage to beat the king tomorrow, Bonnie's sister will never move again. Hmm. The knowledge that Code 20 and 21 were timely, timed so closely together has not failed to amuse you yet. Mm. It is pretty funny. <laughs> it is pretty funny. You mean, like, it still makes you amused if you typed all those negatives wrong? Hey, it's fine. It is totally fine. <laughs> Everyone is full of shit. 
Dude, which, um, Witchwood was such a good game. It was hilarious. What will you do after? If we meet the king, I'll go and see my sister in Bambouche, duh. And then? And then I'll hug her. And then? And then I'll tell her I really, really tried. I'd what? And then? And then you won't be here anyway, so you won't be here to ask me stupid questions, you crab. Damn, she called me crab. That's rude. What about you, anyway? What will you do? What will you do? I'll go to space. Space sounds lame. I bet you can't even go there anyway. I totally can. Wait, really? How? It's a secret. Wink. Wink. <laughs> this is why I don't like you, Sifrin. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you the flower. You're just mean. Nothing. Mm. See you at the clock tower. You talk to Bonnie. Across Bonnie from the re uh, reminder note. Yeah, you don't deserve a flower. You mean. I did go in here. Yeah. <laughs> Space and time and star starts in 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 start. <laughs> star star starts in start. Hmm. Some change you got from buying a quack. Awesome. Reminder notes. A note Mirabelle wrote for you and your Steve. Is this Steve, by the way. Steve like brain. <laughs> Friendship doodle. A static drawing of you and your friends. A four petal flower full of a hidden meaning you can gift it to your friends. Crinkle, crinkle. It's close to fall. Its shape looks familiar somehow. Look at the notes. You crossed a few things out already, but you read it all again. Sifrin, don't forget to e get everyone. Odile is probably in the shop getting supplies. The shop is that building with a bunch of barrels around it. I saw Bonnie go there and go to the east. They're probably near the veggie fields. Just go east and then south. And Isabel must be at the favor tree to the west. Give him some time though. I think he has a lot to ask for. Before you go talk to him, you could walk around Dormont. I'm sure people would be happy to talk. There's a little girl with pigtails slightly north. I think she really likes to talk about battles. Don't be afraid to talk to anyone in the village. I mean, we did talk to the... We, we did do rock, pe paper, scissors last time. And, well, also you should see the Change God statue and pray for victory. If you want. You really should. Let's meet at the clock tower to the east after. Just jump over her over the broken bridge and you'll find it. Yours, Mirabelle. On the bottom of the paper, a crafted drawing anim uh, animates back and forth. Some kind of a thick, flowy line. What is it? You should ask her. You should ask her. So I have beef with Bonnie. <laughs> Does this game have autosave? I don't think so. I don't know. Hey, Sifrin. Do you need anything? What's the, the thing you drew? She drew a thick flowing line on the reminder note. What's that about? What I drew on the note? It's a flowing ribbon, silly. Like the one in my hair, see? Oh. Hmm. Okay, I'll see you later. I'm gonna save the flower in case. Oh, I didn't go in here. I didn't go in here at all. This is where I needed to talk to the other person, though. Some little paintings animated by craft. 
You can see the shopkeeper along with some other people from Dormont. Ahoy, traveling one. Story loving and loving shopkeeper. Oh. You with Mirabelle and the lady with the glasses. I recognize you. Can you believe Mirabelle has been blessed by the change god to save us all? The change god almost never gives blessings of any kind. It's truly amazing Mirabelle has been chosen. May the change god protect her in her journey. I nod. The change god, huh? <gasps> I sit! I'm, I'm, I'm sat. Did I get what the change god blessing is? Yeah, I got, um... Well, I did that last time. And it, it, it was extra defense. <laughs> this bitch is annoying. <laughs> it's a barrel. Some papers. There's some sort of sale happening, it seems. Old, moldy books. You can't even read their titles. The closet filled with everything from empty salt shakers to half-broken pencils. Are they for sale? The little figure of the change god. It's been crafted to dance slightly. This one has a wide smile. Shells full of various foods. Being near them makes your stomach grumble. Deal is here, looking at what the shop has to offer. Oh, deal. Oh, Sifrin. You look rested. Glad to see you this late back on the day before the end of the world. Anyway, how can I help you? Hmm. Clock tower. Sleepover. A sleepover? Ugh. You guys really are kids. We can forget about our problems. I suppose so. Nonetheless, I'll be there. Poor, poor Boniface probably needs it. Maybe we all do. But the room only has three beds, right? I better get a whole bed to myself. Mira and Bonnie will probably be sharing. Really? Hmm. Really? Mirabel and Bonnie? So who will sleep on the ground? You or Isabeau? <laughs> Is I mean, I don't even know this person yet, but sure, I, I will not be sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Poor man. Anyway, I'll be there. You know, since we already decided earlier we'd meet at the clock tower and all. Yeah, you already all planned to meet up at the clock tower, so was there a need for you to let everyone know? You could have just met everyone at the clock tower. Oh well. Not like you have anything better to do. Anything else? Hmm. Did, I, did it say how old I am in the game? No. I have no idea. We're fighting the king tomorrow. We are. I'll be prepared. The king. And the sadness his destruction creates. He possesses crafts capable of slowing us down, or even freezing us in time completely. So, as always, we're counting on you and your speed to keep us out of trouble. Oh. So, you, you want me in the front again? Leading everyone, if possible. You've already proven good at preventing traps and keeping us alive, so I don't see why that's that has to change. And as always, you can count on me to provide everyone with intel on any enemies we encounter. Everyone except Boniface will be on battle duty. But I might ask Boniface to do something as well. It might be good for everyone to give the kids something to do. Boring tactics talk, I know. I'll shut up and buy items for our journey to the top of the house. Ho. Ho? Ho? <laughs> Have you found it? Is your field of research tactics? Oh, gem gems. Why did you call me gems? Are you still trying to figure out what I'm researching? No, my field of research isn't tactics. 
Isabel actually proposed that one last week. Late one. L late one? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Give it up already. None of you will ever figure out what I'm studying. It will stay a secret forever. Hmm. What will you do after? Who is Boniface? Bonnie? I think I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> after tomorrow, if we survive? I wish I had your confidence. Maybe I'll just go home to... Kabu? 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 I haven't seen my country in many years. Before I met Mirabelle and Isabeau, my main goal uh, was to travel to Volgard and see its many different places, sites, cultures. I've already accomplished this by traveling with Mirabelle, so... Was it, was it all for your research? Yes. Your research into... Travelology? <laughs> Sitesology? Culturesology? You know, this this seems funnier. Culturesology? <laughs> Culturesology isn't a field of research, Sifrin. But it is the field of research, research you spent your life trying to create. Stop inventing a backstory for me. What about you? What will you do? If we beat the king, that is. Will you go back to your own country, maybe? What will you do? Come up with my own field of research. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing. Okay. I'll see you at the clock tower later, then. You talk to Odile. You cross Odile from the reminder note. I like the sound. <laughs> History mystery. <laughs> okay, I think we can go to the, the tree. Or maybe we should go up here. Ah, you heard the villagers talk about this. A very dangerous fruit which, if approached, will spell your doom. This is just a banana peel. Do bananas even grow here? You would rather not die today. So you leave the banana peel alone. Seems like a good good, uh, good choice. I'm also not a fan of bananas. I have to say. Pew pew. Old one. I just sat before I uh, see saw if I could talk to them. Horrifying, isn't it? Our beautiful house of change, warped into such a terrible shape. The king waits inside, waits for the entire country to finally be frozen in time. I shall pray for your vic uh, your victory tomorrow. Hmm. So nothing else is happening. Oh, so you have to sit there to talk. <laughs> okay, so you don't have anything else to say. Oh well, now we can go to the tree. I just like the birds. <laughs> oh, is this is this the one we're looking for? Isabeau is here, probably pondering what favor to ask the tree. Isa. Sif. Isa. <gasps> is this my best bud? My, my character looks extra happy talking to him, so I'm, I assume we're, we're best friends or something. Sif. <laughs> Isa. <laughs> Sif. <laughs> Again. Okay, that's it. I'm ending this bit. Oh. Ooh. That's how it has to be, Sifrin. Anyway, I was, looking, I was just looking at the favorite tree. Isn't this tree cool? Hmm. Yeah, it is. Glad you agree. One could say it's a pretty, uh, 
Uh huh. She mendes she. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I feel like the the character we're playing as it, it actually is me. I I have I make dad jokes too. It's it's true. I do. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> you both laugh, <laughs> laughing uproarish, uh, uproarous, uproariously, but uproariously. <laughs> Never heard that before. He raises his hand towards your shoulder, but stops and brings it to his side. Huh. That was funny. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree. But do you want to talk before I go? Yeah. Let's talk. <laughs> or a tree time? Mm. You know the coin flip thing in the grow with Matt? Yeah, I... I... I had, um, I think I actually had a story and do that in my first playthrough. I didn't even know, um, like, it wasn't intentional. But then he had a sleight of hand, so he did the, the, the coin trick, uh, for him. Which was pretty cool. I didn't do that intentionally, but it happened. Um... She just left again. Uh, clock tower. Sleepover. Huh? Sleepover? Crab, yeah. Cra crab, yeah. Wasn't I called a crab earlier? Does the clock tower have only three beds, though? I'm guessing Bonbon bon and Mira will share, and Madame Odile will take her own. Which means we'll share beds again, Sif. I got dips on the left side. I'm actually sharing with it. No, I thought. Wait, isn't she sharing with Bonnie? Ugh, fine, sure. Yay! But please try not to hog the covers this time. It's getting old. It, it's getting old. <laughs> it's getting cold at night. Hmm. What's up with the big tree? Oh, you don't know about the favor tree? Well, it's just a random big tree, but. When you're a believer of the House of Change, the biggest tree in a certain place is called a favor tree. It's like, it's the tree with the most powers, you can ask it things. As a favor? Like, please help me pass my defender exams. Which is like, a totally random example. Wasn't Isabeau a defender? Hmm. I, d I did say that he would sleep on the floor. But I didn't have that option now. <laughs> I didn't have that option now. Did you ask a mythical tree to help you pass your exams? And I passed with flying colors, thank you very much. Oh, I did stu study very hard, so it's not like the tree did much. But even a little bit helps. You should ask the tree for a favor too. It's a big day tomorrow. Hmm, what will you do after? After we beat the king? Wow, Sif. So confident. So cool. I like it. I think I'll just return home to... Jovent? Jovent? I don't have anything else planned. I wonder how Jovent is doing. When we left it, it was still standing, moving. It was still standing, moving, <laughs> but I think the king's curse may have caught up to it. So then, will you take your jaw back? No, being a defender has kind of lost its shine. I always admired the defenders, you know? It's all about protecting your neighborhood, your city. Helping them out with whatever they need. Be it getting a cat from a tree or helping an old man with his bags. But when Mira came to Jovent asking for help after Doramon's house had fallen, I was ready to help, for all of Jovent's defenders to help, and you know what they said? Nah. And I could tell that they said that because they were scared. The worst defenders see is, like, a robbery, maybe. <laughs> so suddenly helping to save Volgard was too much for them. But not helping because you're scared. I just couldn't accept that. That's not brave. So I quit, and I won't go back. 
do something else. Maybe it's time for me to do something brand new. I got a secret. I've always wanted to be a clothing designer. So maybe I could just take an apprenticeship somewhere. You never knew. That sounds great, Isa. Uh, Isa. <laughs> I knew you'd approve. What about you, Sif? What will you do when we beat the king? What will you do? Start a comedy club. Wait, really? Are you serious? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> the tongue. <laughs> yes. Finally, more people will be able to hear your puns. <laughs> Why is... I, I, I said this right away last stream. That this character is, is very relatable. It, it, it's just continuing now. With the puns, too. Okay, I'll be going now. I'll see you at the clock tower later. You talk to Isabeau. You cross Isabeau from the reminder note. Time to go to the favor tree. Oh. Was that... Was that a person? Oh, no, it's my hat. I didn't see the... You see here? No, wait, you can't see. <laughs> um, are you lagging? No, don't be lagging. The favorite tree looms above you. You slowly walk closer to the trunk of the tree, where you can see some leaves you can grab. You need a leaf to ask the favorite tree for something, after all. You look around for a leaf you like, and think. Hmm. Asking for a favor from a higher power, like a big tree, sounds pretty close to a wish, you think. A wish. A wish. The favor tree seem to be popular among people in Vogard lately. You think that if people came to make a wish, they'd probably wish for Vogard to be saved. You don't really need to add another wish like that to the pile. The trees are probably already on it. Do you feel a... You'd feel bad wishing for something big and talking, t taking away from everyone's wish to save Ogard. Something small, then. Something simple. Something nice. Okay, you have a few ideas. You can only choose one. You wish... Either to visit more places with Mirabelle, or to wear clothes Isabeau has made, or to go with Odile to see her country, or to be here when Bonnie reunites with her their sister. And I can only choose one? That seems mean. What if I can only do one of those because I say only one now? Yeah, it's a very bright screen. It is. <laughs> I didn't really do anything. I just, the, the tree was literally right next to him. So I only went to the tree. So you didn't actually miss anything. Uh, but I want to say all of them. Which should, should I just? Well, Bonnie is mean, so maybe not that one. You missed the rest of that. Oh, I see. Roll a dice. I do. I do have a dice set actually. You can't see it, though, when I roll it, but... <laughs> I have a... I have a D4, so I could use that. That? You can't see the result though, but just trust me when I say what it is. It was two. <laughs> I rolled two. 
I wish I could show you, but I can't. But I did roll too. That seems a little bit, um... Uh... Boring compared to the other ones, but maybe not. I don't know. I do like new drip though. Yeah, you wish to wear clothes Isabeau has made. Sure. You didn't expect to have so much fun traveling with Isabeau. You often joke together, but you never really talk about real important things. You're glad he told you about his dream to become a clothing designer. It suits him. To talk to him and watch him as he crafts clothes for you to wear. Seeing his smile as you wear something he created himself. It would make you happy. You want to stay with them. I wish in mind, you'll look at the leaf you've chosen and wish. You breathe your wish into the leaf. Repeat it three times and fold the leaf closed. Keep your wish safe. All done. Gently let the leaf go and walk back to the town. You have a sleepover to go to after all. I mean, to be fair, he seems... Oh! Welcome to the show. Finish getting ready. Wait, why doesn't my, my Steam achievements pop up anymore? But I mean, he did seem like the one we got along with the most out of all of them. So, maybe that was the best choice anyway. So, the clock tower to the east of town, past the broken bridge, huh? It may be time for you to head out there. The favorite tree is here. You can see the leaf with your wish swing gently in the wind. I, I love the birds. <laughs> Chonky birds. The sign says favorite tree. Hm. But I did get an achievement. You approach the changed god statue. You close your eyes. I can't believe I have two and a half hours in the game and I've barely done anything. <laughs> you thank the changed god for its blessing and quickly run away. I was just not sure if I had forgotten anything here. I feel like it's- it might be like a point of no return. I'm not sure. When we go across the bridge. The clock tower stuff. I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll see. I wish we could pet the sheep though. Meh. You know how you don't really have favorites or- Actually, more like it's very hard to say stuff like that because it's not that simple. So if you said something like, this could be one of the favorite things, you probably know what would mean by that. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't know what you meant by that. This is the way to the clock tower. You did all you needed to do so you can join everyone at the clock tower. <gasps> wait, wait. It got dark. A lantern. Someone probably put it here to make sure you don't get lost. I did wish that they would change up the music a little bit though. I usually, I, I kind of block it out a little bit. <gasps> a lantern. Someone probably put it here to make sure you don't get lost. Hey real chicken manny, how you doing? Welcome in. <laughs> when the stars are in time. Sifrin. You're here. We were waiting for you. Let's go inside. I'm so hungry. You're pretty hungry yourself. I brought back a bunch of food. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bye. Yeah. 
Pew. Bon bon. That was food. That was delicious. Keep getting better at cooking, Boniface. Those samosas were delicious. Really? It wasn't bad? You liked it? I mean, of course it was delicious. I'm a master cooker, you know. Chef. I'm a chef cooker. That was a perfect meal, Bonnie. We'll all sleep well tonight and be full of energy tomorrow. It was almost too much, to be honest. I don't know if I can move. Was it too much? I could have eaten more. Oh, Sif, are you still hungry? Friend, you ate a lot, huh? You ate a lot, huh? <laughs> Say, how's the game been? But it looks like it just started. Yeah, kind of. I started on Saturday. Um, but it was like an event, so we did more chatting than actual gameplay, so I didn't really get to do much. Um, so, yeah, it, it haven't done too much yet. <laughs> but it's, uh, I have, I have enjoyed it so far at least. I take it you, you, uh, you also really enjoyed this game then. Yeah, friend, you ate a lot, huh? You like my cooking a lot, huh? Here, have some more food since you're so hungry and like my cooking so much. Bonnie gives you one carrot slice. One carrot slice? Damn. That's kind of stingy, isn't it? No. How can you still eat? How can such a small body eat that much? I'm a growing kid. A growing kid that drinks alcohol? You're older than most of the people here. You wink cutely. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how old we're supposed to be. Um, everyone, can I say something? What's up, Mira? Um, we, we've all been traveling together for a while now. It hasn't always been easy, but meeting you all... Traveling through Vogar to get the orbs needed to open the house gates, uh, houses, house's gate again. There's no way I could have done this alone. I, uh, I want to say thank you for coming with me this far. But tomorrow, we'll go and fight the king. Someone who has thrown Vogar into stillness and silence. Someone who has now frozen almost all of Vogar in time. Uh, I'll do my best to make sure this doesn't happen to any of you, but, but if you don't want to come... If you want to go back home, I would... Kind of late for that, Mirabel, isn't it? I, I know. I... By that, Madame Odile means that we're, uh, we're with you. Of course I do. We've come this far, after all. Did you really think we'd leave you behind? Did you go alone? We'll follow you, Belle. We'll help. Don't worry. We'll stay with you, Mira. You never let her go alone, after all. Oh. Oh, thank you! <laughs> Isabeau and Bonnie hug Mirabelle tightly, while you and Odile stand a bit apart like always. This is when the audience at that theater would say, Aww. <laughs> Let's go to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. Indeed. Then, good night, everyone. Good night. Hmm. This game is real neat. RPGs aren't something you really like to play, but watching them is real fun. Hmm. I see, I see. Have you seen people play... Uh, I mean, if you don't play them yourself, I mean. Have you seen anyone play Undertale or Mori then? Because that was kind of why I wanted to play this, because I love those two games a lot. Um, so this... Uh, seemed like a good mix between the two. Uh, Sif. Hey. Hey, Sif. Sifrin. Sifaroni. Sifaroni. <laughs> Isabeau is whispering your name. 
turn around and listen. Um, sorry to wake you up. I just have to tell you something. If that's okay. He dares interrupt your beauty sleep. He knows you value your sleep, so this must be important. You nod. Okay, okay, okay. Then I shall tell you the thing. The thing I woke you, I woke you up to tell you. Uh, um, okay. So, the thing I have to tell you is that I... I don't have anything to tell you right now. But I will. When, uh, when we beat the king tomorrow. Okay? What does he have to t tell me? That's so ominous, Isa. It's not meant to be. I, um, just don't want to tell you right now. He might distract you. I know you wouldn't want that, right? So, um... I'll tell you when we beat the king. Okay? What would he want to tell you? It seems important to him. So the only thing you can say is... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Undertale, obviously. A more you've seen snippets of. Mm. What? That, that's... That's why I was like... That's why I literally said... When when the other character, um, Odile, asked me about where he would sleep, and I said on the floor because like I wanted to sleep alone, <laughs> because like oh no, this is this is gonna be important later on, isn't it? Isn't it? And then I was like, I didn't. Uh. But then I also didn't want to, I didn't want to choose the other one because she, she's like, she, she, well, she's like a small child. So that felt weird too. So I don't, I don't know. Um, you wonder what you want to tell me, a real head scratcher? You confused? Wait, what did, why did you say, oh gosh? I, I don't, I, I don't know what he's going to say, but I mean, we can, we can guess. Okay. <laughs> Some people are trying to sleep. Yeah, Isabeau. Some people are trying to sleep. Close your mouth and sleep. You close your mouth, housemaiden. You're gonna wake up Madame Odile. I'm already up. And if the noise continues, I will stand up. You do not want to know what will happen if I stand up. Sorry. Sorry, madame. S sorry. <laughs> uh, good night, Sif. Oh, damn. You feel safe surrounded by all your friends. You fall asleep. Yeah, the, the, the whole age thing is kind of confusing me a little bit because we were drinking alcohol and then uh, I don't I don't know does he mind I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure but hey wouldn't that be better to say before something that could like be the end of, of your existence wouldn't it be better to say before then Instead of keeping it to yourself until after you survive. What if you don't survive? Then you would never have said it, you know? This is important, guys. You need to tell things while you're alive. Or say things, I mean. Sif butt to be. <laughs> he also said he doesn't want to be distracted. But honestly, wouldn't it be more distracting if you're just walking around thinking things and you haven't... Then you're just thinking about it because you're not saying anything. Uh, I'm older than most, think it said. Yeah. Yeah. 
telling you want to go out with someone before fighting the big bad is the largest well yeah i mean but that's that's more like a this is different though in shows and movies sure but <laughs> you just had a very dark thought oh no oh no house's gate you look up at it. The house's gate, huh? It's bigger than I thought. It's so scary. It really is locked shut. I can see space for us to put the orbs. This whole adventure. This whole journey. After all this time. I can finally open it. I have my orb right here. Let's go for it then. Oh my god. <sighs> the music is so low. The butt. <laughs> V but dark thought mm. about the game you mean mm. why is there a butt spot just just fun <laughs> just for fun but yeah the only reason why i chose uh, is about wait i also didn't give anyone the flower was i supposed to do that before doing all this probably um but thank you so much for the follow welcome in welcome in uh, yeah, the only reason why I chose him was because my character just seemed extra happy talking to him. So it's like it just seemed like a good choice because of that. They seem to get the mo like the along the best out of all of them. So like you know, you know, a broken pillar. That sure is a pillar. It's a pillar. A pillar. Pillar. It's a pillar. Indeed, it is. Um. Keep the flower for myself. I mean, you know, I deserve it. I deserve it. It's a pillar. Oh, this is the same melody as in the menu. Slow down. <gasps> Look at that blob. It looks kind of cute. <gasps> Up ahead, that's a sadness. A sadness, huh? The house must be crawling with them. Uh, okay, everyone, let's um uh, don't get overwhelmed now. Come on, you've seen tons of those already. Don't worry, Belle. We can take care of them, no problem. Uh, okay, but. Mirabelle seems overwhelmed. Maybe talking would make her feel better. Something to distract her. Something like... Oh my, should we go over strategy again? D don't tease me, Sifrin. <laughs> but, um, yes. I would like that. So, um, to start with, Sifrin should, uh... You're about to enter a battle. Here's some basic, basic stats about you and your party members to remember. You. Honestly, my character is the best character out of all of them. <laughs> I don't know. I just I just like my character. You. Scissors. Type. Weak to rock. Fast. Can make everyone faster. Mirabelle. Scissors. Paper. Type. Weak to rock. Heals and can boost friends' attack. Isabel. Rock type. Weak to paper. It's hard. Can boost friends' defense. Odile. Paper type. Weak to scissors. Can use craft spells of any type. Slow. Can make enemies slower. Bonnie. Helps out randomly in battle. But most importantly. Stack duty. You know, that is very important, honestly. I hate this. 
Sorry, Bon Bon. The sadnesses in here are too powerful for your tiny little arms. You can help out sometimes, as long as you make sure to keep your distance. But we know that's boring, so... That's why we also made you in charge of snacks. It's a super duper very important job, you know? A super duper importantist. Importantist. And that, that is, you know, it's true. Don't patronize the kid. <laughs> yeah, don't patron pa patronize me. <laughs> All good? All good. You smile. <gasps> Monster time. Phew. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> hello again. Hello, Shane. We're we getting an ad starting now. Unfortunately, that was bad timing. I'm not going to do anything in the game, though, by the way. Just for anyone who is new, I don't do anything in the game while there's an ad running. I don't want people to feel like they need to be subbed. But how you doing, Shane? Hope you're doing well. This music is pretty nice, though. Honestly, I've liked the music really well, like, a lot in this game so far. <laughs> Even though it hasn't been... We haven't gone far into the game, but it has been good. Were you good? I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm also doing pretty good. Yeah, the music is really cool. But I hope, I uh, hope, um, hope Tuesday isn't, isn't too, too bad for you today, Shane. I know Tuesdays can be rough. At least that's how it is for me, but... <laughs> Actually, you know, Tuesdays have kind of started getting better. But it's still the worst day of the week. It's still the worst day of the week. <laughs> is fun though this is not what I thought this sadness was gonna look like it looked like a blob but it actually has like arms and and, and I don't know if that is like a... I don't know it has a torso at least I don't know what the bottom part is but it's something running anyway. <laughs> uh, it's just so funny the the I posted the clip of, of what happened during stream on on Saturday. No, not, not Saturday, but... Was it Wednesday? I don't remember. I don't remember anymore. But with Oren. <laughs> I, our little conversation afterwards, I, I posted the, the yesterday and... Um, It's, it's, um, it's interesting. Let's just say that. <laughs> oh. But now the ads are over. Okay, okay. 
Don't worry. You focus on healing. Big guy over he there can hit things. And you, Sifrin, keep the puns and one-liners to a minimum, please. But I, I love puns and one-liners, okay? Okay, rude. Dude, why is this character so... <laughs> I feel like, I feel like this character just says a bunch of the same things that I do. <laughs> like, rude. That's, that's exactly what I was thinking. Rude. We should examine the sadness first and know what we're up against, so... So it's your job, madame. Yes. Please slow down, everyone, and let me attack first for once. When it's my turn, I'll examine the enemy by using craft skill. Examine. Anal analysis an enemy. A analyzes, I mean. <laughs> analyzes. I can read. <laughs> the skill doesn't use a turn. Remnants of the people that were defeated by the king. Their grief and sadness is all that remains. They cannot tell friend from foe anymore. Well, I said analysis because it's like analysis. That's a that's a, that's a word. It just wasn't the word that I was reading. <laughs> Yeah, they cannot tell friend from foe anymore. Defeating them is all we can do. Every sadness has a different resistance and a weakness. Maybe there's a way to figure it out from their appearance. Um, we need to do certain hand signs when we craft skills. So maybe you should look at their hands. I was wondering, like, why is it doing the peace sign? Very well done, Boniface. So this sadness must be... Sifrin? What do you think? If you look at its hands... Scissor type? Yeah! It's doing a scissors sign. Indeed it is. So, if this enemy is scissors type, what's the best type of attacks we can use against the Sifrin? Your turn again? Rock. Rock. Yeah! Rock beats scissors. Exactly. Thankfully, even after examining this enemy, it is still my turn. And thankfully, we can use all three types of craft. Yes. I'm still paper type, though, so hopefully this sadness doesn't attack me. Let's go and attack it now. Well, we're gonna use rock, then. Wait. She can... She can use rock. Even if she is paper. Well. Hmm. Yeah. Great hit, Madame Odile. Um, what's that symbol that appeared on the right after you attacked again? You know, you. Uh, I know you said it before, but I forgot. Ah. Good eye, Boniface. Don't worry about it right now. Just remember it's there for later. Let's finish beating up this sadness, shall we? No need to slow down for me anymore. Uh, it's our turn to attack whenever our attack gauge is filled, right? It's that gauge that fills up automatically when no one is doing anything. Precisely. Let's defeat the sadness now. Knife to meet you. <laughs> Two cleaver by half. Turn it up. Make up the time. Hold on. <laughs> deal. Yeah, we're not gonna deal scissor damage. Make up the time. Makes all friends faster for a few turns. Three turns. Give your turn to a friend, boosting their attack and crit chance. Okay, we can do that. Gonna give it to, to to him then, because he's a rock type. <laughs> give away your turn. 
smash. Wait, it healed? Damn, that was a that was a, a crit. Yahoo! We did it. That was easy, wasn't it? It was. Just look at the enemy's hands to find out their type and attack accordingly. You breathe in and out. One hundred experience received. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Uh, the characters are very cool. You like them, you think? Hm. Me too. Me too. What if they don't have hands? Maybe they do it with their feet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> butt spot missed the chance to say no butts. Yeah. Butt spot misses a lot of them, to be fair. To be fair. We did it. See me, Rune? It wasn't that bad. Going through the house will be a piece of cake. You smile and take the lead. That sure is a pillar. I like that my attacks <laughs> are puns. <laughs> Knife to meet you. <laughs> oh, I feel like this this character was 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 meant for me. <laughs> It's not a good sign when someone says that. When someone says what? Yikes? Wait, no, what? <gasps> oh, more sadnesses. We'll have to fight them if we want to proceed. We could just run and make sure they don't touch us. Um, um, can we keep talking about strategies for a bit, maybe? Hmm. I like a refresher, too. I mean, I don't have a choice, it seems. Yes! All right. Let's keep fighting them. We'll enter battle if those sadnesses touch you, Sifrin. So get ready. Battle starts. All right, what's this one's type? It seems to be a rock. Sifrin. Huh. Your turn again? <laughs> I like my uh, my character's expression. Say rock. Wait. Wait. Correct. Damn, that that was a She was pausing to make me question that one. <laughs> Correct. Yay, Sif. You did it, Sif. Okay. Phew. And if it's rock type, it's weak to paper. Again, stars, you know this. Paper. Correct again. Sifrin, you're so talented. You know so many things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so knowledgeable. Congrats, Sifrin. Ugh. <laughs> All right, we went over attacks and types. So let's talk about craft skills. Compared to normal attacks, craft skills are more powerful, or may allow us to heal or buff ourselves up. Enemies won't be shy about using craft skills, so we shouldn't either. But using one craft skill means it'll go into cooldown. After using one, we won't be able to execute the same skill for a few turns. It's usually fine, but it might be dangerous with healing skills. I'll try to make sure to use my healing skills carefully so I don't run out at a dangerous moment. But even if it happens, there's items to recharge our cooldown skills. There might even be skills and equipment out there to help out. That is true. In the meantime, let's attack, shall we? Feel free to uh, feel free to try things out. Siphon time. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna use that. Let's try doing this again. Or makes all friends faster for a few turns. Three turns. I mean, we can try this out. I can't, like, 
Sifrin shouldn't do anything here anyway. So it's like, it will be a piece of cake after the first enemy. Oh yeah. I mean, that's true. That's true. Ever feel like a sadness blob drifting through the wind? <laughs> the game seems very cool. I agree. I, I am liking the game. You have gotten vibes from this game? Same. Same. Make up the time. You snap your fingers. Mirabelle time. Artsy Silent Burst. Deals paper damage to all enemies. A three turn. Pretty buffy friend. Boosts all many enemies attack for three turns. Sure, we can just use this. It's paper, so... Damn. Yeah, he can give his turn to to Odile. Isabel gives away his turn. Deals paper damage to one enemy, two turn. I mean, I probably don't have to use the craft skills all the time now, but I just want to. <laughs> we did it! But really... What were those symbols that appeared when you did a rock, paper, or scissors attack? You'll see. You breathe in and out. 100 experience received. All right, let's go get that other one. Broken pillar. <gasps> that sure is a broken pillar. That sure is a pillar. It's true. I'm just gonna um, attack all of them because it's kind of what I did with Amori. <laughs> and I got so much experience. <laughs> Alright, what's this one's type? <laughs> Let's see. Do you know this? Isabeau? Huh? Me? Well, um, it's paper type, madame. And so it means it's weak to scissors. Sif's type. And Mirabelle's. And Mirabelle's, of course. And I have scissors skills at my disposal as well. Yes, madame. I knew that. Uh-huh. Since it's weak to scissors, I think you should use scissors attacks a bunch. Great idea, Boniface. I wonder what will happen if we use the same type of craft skill multiple times in a row. Ah. Uh. I like, I like, uh, I like Sif's, um, picture as well. I really like my character. <laughs> you like how the attacks reflect the characters? Mm. Knife to meet you. Deal scissor damage to one enemy, might lower enemy's defense one turn. To cleaver by half. We'll, we'll, we'll try this one. Knife to meet you. <laughs> oh damn. I say a cool one-liner. It wasn't it wasn't cool enough. Damn, that was weak. So the cooldown. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Deal scissor damage to one enemy, two turn. Okay. It feels like you guys are on a roll with those scissors attacks. I don't know. It seems pretty weak so far. I don't have any scissors attacks. So how about I give my turn away to someone who does? Which is... Like it would be established earlier. Literally everyone but me, I guess. Ha. Huh. That's what you get for being a rock type. Hey, everyone. I'm being bullied by a preteen? Piece of advice? <laughs> You'll get over it. But great idea, Isabel. I mean, I've already done that. Uh, to make sure we keep using the same type right after an, uh, the other, use that skill of yours to give you your turn away. Or you can gar uh, guard, it if you guard if you want. My cool your turn craft skill. 
I'm not saying that. Give your turn to a friend, boosting their attack and crit chance. One turn. Why is my HP so low? No, it's not HP. It's the other thing. <laughs> Well, I guess that's what I need to do. Deal scissor damage to all enemies might lower enemies' attacks for three turns. We can we can try this one now. Hmm, okay, so next. Let's Uh oh. Madame Odile! Aw. Uh, I don't know why I said aw. <laughs> the sun is about to attack Odile. Isabel got in front of her. Damn, he died? Isabel? Howie. I'll see you all. In a minute. Oh no, he's crying. <laughs> Attack age, yeah. Damn. Isabel is KO. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. But. Uh, don't you need someone to be KO'd for your tutorial anyway? Very true. Let's keep this tutorial going then. Thank you for your playing, uh, for your- <laughs> Thank you for playing along. <laughs> no problem. I'll stay right here then. Stop talking. you KO. And KO'd people can't talk, dummy. Okay. See, I didn't- I didn't like this- Boniface. And she's being mean. She's mean to everyone. Damn, kids. Mm. Is it really okay? Anyway, when someone's health points or HP goes down to zero, they'll be out cold and won't be able to finish uh, finish anymore. <laughs> they won't be able to fight anymore. There are multiple ways there's multiple ways to make There's multiple ways to waking up wake him up. Like using a crafted water, or if Mirabel knew a craft skill to revive them. But how about we make this interesting? With... Oh! I remember what those scissor symbols are for. If we do a combo, and have five of the same symbol, we can do a jackpot skill. <gasps> Damn. Exactly. Boniface. And see? Yeah, she's she's the youngest. She was the preteen, and the others are seem older than that. Sure. Let's see. We already have a combo of three right here. When we get five of the same symbol, whether rock, paper, or scissors, we'll be able to use a jackpot skill. Only rock, paper, and scissors attacks count for the the jackpot. By the way. We should be careful with how we use those skills, but we can use any other type of skill or item without breaking the combo. Okay, that's good to know. I would, like, that, that was literally the thing that I wanted to, to ask. Yay. The combo will save me. Please do a combo. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's add two more scissor symbols to our lineup, shall we? Scissors 3. Let's do it. I want to help too. I don't. I don't think we're gonna need the 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 jackpot combo here. Oh yeah, they said that she would do like random uh, attack attacks or. Knife to meet you. <laughs> now get ready. <gasps> Team twerk. Yahoo! We won. And I'm not out cold anymore. Every time we manage to use a jackpot skill, anyone who's out cold is revived. And we'll all get healed a little bit as well. 
We should try to do combos as often as we can. Hmm. It's cool and all, but... But what if you won without doing that jackpot skill? Would you have just left me there? N no, of course not. We have some items. We could have revived you. We'll always revive anyone who's KO uh, after a battle. We can't make unconscious people run around, can we? Are you really this upset that we left you <laughs> alone for two minutes? <laughs> no, not really. I'm just doing my part. Plus, the floor was nice and refreshing. Hm. That's sad. It is, but you're not supposed to say it out loud, Boniface. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hey, and that's the end of this little refresher. All good, Mirabelle. I yes, thank you very much. You think you got everything too? Indeed I did. You breathe in and out. 100 experience received. Sorry for not paying attention, Isabeau. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm all good. Anything for the tutorial? Ha, huh. let's get going then. Floor time having is not sad. No, it's not. It is not sad. See, this is why th this kid is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's She's just mean. Wait, I do have a hat, by the way. No, that was the wrong one. I do have a way chat right here. <laughs> Maybe I should attach it to my 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 headphones. I don't know if I can. Let's see if I can. I have some um some tack here but I don't think it's gonna stick to my my headphones <gasps> wait maybe it will I, I thought yeah the material is should it should work on on <gasps> I can I can have my <laughs> I have a hat too perfect perfect I have it on on I usually have it on the head of my 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 stress ball here. But it fell off. Like I think Sirius he he knocked it off uh with his tail or something. Um Zay was just lying there on my desk. <laughs> yeah. It's very cute. It is very cute. I forget to use it though. It's just on my desk. <laughs> yeah, so so the the stress ball has this witch hat on. Storage room. Let's look around. I see a few tonics on those tables. Make sure to pick them up and give them to Bonnie before we leave. Check that closet too. There might be some cool stuff in there. Should check those out. I should. Hey, look at what's on the table. You found one ginger juice. You found one pepper juice. You found one thyme juice. Someone just took the bottle from you. Deal said I'm on spices duty. Still, that's a lot of spices you found there. Oh, oh, I know this one. Pepper raises your attack. Ginger raises your defense. And thyme makes you faster. Is that a pun? <laughs> Time makes you faster. I 
I'm trying to see like the meaning why each of them would have the effect that they do. Because spicy stuff makes people angry. Ginger makes you not sick. And time. Well, I don't actually know why, why time makes you faster. Me neither. But it seemed like it was- it seems like it was intentional, though. <laughs> that sure is a pillar. It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. It's a stool. It does feel like a pun. Mm. Look at what's on the table. You found crafted water. Someone just took the bottle from you. Deal also said I'm on water duty. Um, this is a crafted water. If someone gets knocked out during battle, just a drop of it is enough to wake them right up. Someone at school told me it was just coconut water. Wait, is it? Hmm. You open the closet. It's full of boxes and papers. And... A pendant shaped like a bell. <gasps> you got a bell pendant. Well, the closet was useless. But pretty pendant, though. Can the pendant heal when I'm hurt? Or heal me when I when when I'm hurt? Maybe it can. You don't know. You look at the pendant closely. It's just a pendant shaped like a bell. If you like it, so you put it in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Tonics and any useful items will usually be visible, but you might get some use useless but interesting things if you check everything in a room. So it's perfect for a loot goblin like me. I see. See, this is why we have a, a loot emote. Because, you know, any game where I can loot, I will loot. It, it, it's just, th them's the rules. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> mine. Mine. Some flyers. They say, House of Change open. Come and see what you can do for the community. And what the community can do for you. There's some people with sparkly eyes holding hands drawn on it. <laughs> I drew those a few years ago to get people to come to the house. It's a little embarrassing now. You think they look nice? Exactly right. <laughs> <I'm> s <laughs> it's so funny to me that you remember the quotes better than I do because I, I don't know if I remember any of the quotes. Except 20. And maybe two. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't re really remember a lot of them. So small glass containers. You look around. You got super sour tonic. Oh, sour tonics are for everyone to share. You know, I always wondered why they're more powerful than regular sour tonics when they're in the same size. They're just that concentrated. I tried drinking a full super sour tonic once. And what happened? I couldn't taste anything for weeks. Damn. Some small glass containers. You look around and found a sour tonic. You just give it all to them. Eh, you learn fast, friend. Be careful with those items, Boniface. You guard them well. You ready to throw those at us if we need them during battle? It's probably safer than making all of us carry some. But Sif found those. You don't trust Sif to keep your items safe? The person who, who a few weeks ago mixed up all the items we had to make a so-called super potion? Hmm. No. I don't trust Sifrin with items. Ah! You cutely bat your eyes. T tonics are good to keep your HP up so you don't get knocked out in battle. They're very sour. But the sourness is, to, is sure to make you more awake and ready for anything. I regret that I couldn't give uh, the, 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 the flower away because I didn't know that it was time limited. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> hello again. <laughs> hello again, Palm. How you doing? Buttoat's meme using 50 Twitch button hole points. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Palm? There's something sparkling there. 
Broken pillar. That sure is a pillar. I don't know why I interact with all the pillars, but I do. That sure is a broken pillar. Statue of the Change God. It's been destroyed. It's well. Oh, that's good. What's this sparkling thing? <gasps> it's a key. Could it be the key to open the door? What door? Probably, right? You pick it up. You found the circle key. The keychain dangling from its... Uh, it is... Uh, keychain dangling from it is shaped like a circle inside a circle inside a circle. Does it mean something? What's up with the circles? The design on the keychain, you mean? You mean? It's one of the symbols of the House of Change belief. It's to show that we are all part of something bigger. The first circle is inside the bigger circle, which is also inside a bigger circle. It's also part of a housemaiden's uniform. Like Belt's brooch. Like Belt's brooch, I mean. Yes. This is how I decided to wear it, but you can wear it however you want. As a necklace. A designer of your clothes. Or not at all. Breaking traditions is also part of the change belief. And the teardrops on your brooch. Pretty. Goes ding ding when I walk. You know, I can respect that. I can respect the ding ding. Don't you love it when a thing go, go ding ding when you walk? Sure do. Let it go. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you put the key in your pocket. Sure did. Pillar lore? Yeah. We played enough Undertale to investigate every pillar. It's true. It is true. You just had fish and chips. It was good. Nice. Nice. Key time. You insert the key. Yeah. Insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. <gasps> Alright. Let's go. You take a step forward and suddenly... Uh, something wrong, Sifrin? <gasps> Wait! Is it- is it- the key isn't taking us to a different room? Is it taking us to a different time? Instead? Yeah, is something wrong, Sifrin? Huh? Did you see that light? A light? Here. So take a look at this. Before going any farther, you should look at the glowing lights. I should. <laughs> ding ding. It is good. Ding ding dings are good. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I had salmon today. So I also had fish today. You can respect the ding ding. <laughs> Something wrong, Siv? You point towards the light. Hmm? So they can't see it. Hmm. Reaching out, you touch the... Uh, you... Reaching out. You touched the light. Everyone was healed! <gasps> you can save your progress by touching the star. Save your progress? Yeah! You close your eyes. Save. Well, that seems useful. You smile and turn back towards everyone. What was that about? Received a good omen. Oh, yeah? Oh? That's great news. What was... Don't know. Don't care. Let's please get going. I nod. Okay, so it's not doing anything except giving me a heal. You hear that, but it's not from the Owl House, but it's from somewhere. Hmm, it does sound familiar to me. In your head, in voices you mean, but somehow you don't know what it is or like who. The 
This is a broken pillar. This is a pillar. Wait! What? What? What is it? Sorry for screaming. Sorry, sorry. Um, I, um... I, uh... Don't know if this is relevant, but... I, uh... I recognize this corridor. Oh? I recognize it. The head housemaiden of this house used to warn us about it. I think... I think she call it the death corridor. Oh no. Oh, that sounds bad. So, uh... So, uh... The house is supposed to be a safe building, but with the king here, some chops might be activated. Is this what you mean? Traps. Traps? A job for me, then. <laughs> I love- I love Sifrid's li li little smug smile. That's so cute. It is your job. Protect us, trap master. I am the, 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 the trap master. Not the first time you've had to reassure Mirabelle. So time to look around. This is a broken pillar. Nothing here. <gasps> There's a broken pillar. Look around, trying to find something. Anything. Nothing there. There's a pillar. Nothing there. There's a pillar. Nothing there. This is a broken pillar. You look around, trying to find something. Anything. Did you find something? There is something. Yep. A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> this is a pillar. Nothing there. Nothing? Well, you can't find any switches or traps, so... So? So? Are we safe? We're not safe, are we? This is the death corridor. The older housemaidens kept saying people died there. So there must be a trap. Something weight sensitive or something. Or or maybe it's time sensitive. If we spend too long here. Oh come on now. There's nothing weird in here. But there must be. Almira. Oh, Belle, Belle, don't worry about it. My friend isn't good at many things, but they know stuff about traps. Hey. Right. If we can't trust the one who's supposed to lead us this early, this won't bode well for us later. Hey. But, but, we're not dead yet, are we? Well, that's true. We have been in this room for a while. And Sifrin has been walking everywhere. So if it was weight sensitive, something would have killed him by now. Wait, now I'm really confused, because... Have we been ref referred to as she, they, and him now? Do we just have all the pronouns? Exactly. It's all fine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll believe you. Sorry for worrying. I'm a little on edge. But good, Mira. See? Everything is I, I have a feeling that everything isn't fine. As you... As you live through the novel experience of having your body crushed by a giant rock. You feel... A tug. On... Your... Stomach. And... You died? <laughs> Imagine if I just said quit. Yeah, I died. It's it's over now. Start again. <gasps> Die for the first time. Huh? Fuck. 
Trin. Sifrin. Sifrin? Good morning. Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? It's just like you. Only you could sleep peacefully at a time like this. <laughs> I guess that's smart. We'd better get some rest while we can. We have to be ready for tomorrow. So we can finally face against the king. <gasps> huh? You're still half asleep, aren't you? You just look at her. Hmm. Okay then. You can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? Huh? Huh? Hold on. Did you just die? You did, you think. You must have. You were in the house and then a big rock fell on you. Uh, it fell, and now you're just in the meadow back in Dormont. What Mirabel just said to you, waking you up, that was very... familiar? But ah, the trap, the trap. You idiot. You stupid fool. It's your job to take care of traps, and you got taken out immediately. You didn't even see a glimpse of the king. And this is your job, stupid. Your job to see ahead, to take care of traps. You couldn't even do your job, and now you're dead because you did a sloppy, awful, terrible job. And you died. You died. You felt your body being crushed, and now you're laying on the grass, alive, and your skin itches, and your stomach hurts, and you died. You put your hand over your, your mouth and scream. Stars. So stupid and useless and dumb. Ah! <laughs> okay, you're over it now. <laughs> We're over it now. <laughs> Some transition. I don't, I don't think so, but I don't know. I don't know. I just found it strange because I'm pretty sure that we've been referred to as she before and then it was they. And then it was he, or him. So now I'm like, I'm not sure what our pronouns are supposed to be, because it's been everything at this point. <laughs> you asked June, uh, and the reference is from uh, Shira. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I've never watched that. that, that's why I didn't get it. Might not have to do the refresher now. Wait, what refresher do you mean? Stop blaming yourself. <laughs> Care to gender fluid then? I would I would assume so, yeah. I would assume so. Because I feel like we've we've seen all of the, the, the pronouns really. And with it like this was while we were gone, but in just that short amount of time we were referred to as, as they and then him and then i was like wait what okay <laughs> oh! Oh! Mm, thank you right <laughs> refresh the battle knowledge thing it was framed like refreshing knowledge mm, i see i see hopefully we won't have to do that again though <laughs> we can probably get the option to skip it i would assume that was a positive awe that's good I mean, I'm sure that it was. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Palm. Um, okay, you're over it now. You take a deep breath in. And out. Oh, in and out. Phew. You put your shaking hands behind your back, pressing them hard between you and the, gla uh, the, the glass, by the way, the grass. Okay, you died. That's one thing. And now, you're alive. And not a crepe. That's another thing. And it's apparently the day before, back when Mirabelle woke you up from your nap. That's the third thing. You went... back in time? Okay, that's normal. Totally normal. Totally 100% completely normal. Oh well. At least you were in the lead as always. Judging by where you were when you died, you were probably the only one who got hit. And the only one that... In a way, you're really glad you're forced to take uh, the lead every time you and everyone else get somewhere dangerous. But... 
You're back. Back to the day before you went to the house. How? And why? And... Can you make sure to not die this time? Back to work, Sifrin. You have a country to save. You got a memory of... Looping. You'll always remember this. Memories are a type of item you can equip. Each memory is specific to one character and gives them special abilities. For example, the memory you just got can only be equipped by you. When a memory of looping is equipped, it'll boost your max HP by plus 5 per loop. You can equip memories by opening your menu and going to the equip section. Interesting. Uh, so you can unlock new things maybe now? Maybe, maybe. You can't contain yourselves after all. <laughs> but it wasn't like KO battle thing, like actual death then. Yeah, it was an actual death because we got, we, we got squished, like, outside of combat. It was like a cannon death, like you, you had to die there. Um, but see, this actually makes sense because, so when you get the question to share the bed with, 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 uh, Isabel or, or Mirabel, that's kind of, that seems like it would make sense because like one is, is a, is a guy and one is a, one is a girl. So, you know. And that's why you also are gender fluid or neutral, because you can choose either way. And then it will be like... I don't know, I like I like that they, they did that, you know? Now it makes sense <laughs> why was they the, those two. <laughs> you know? Now that makes sense. Mm, what is that voice you've been hearing this whole time? Let's see. Your trusty dagger does the job. Looks remarkably like a wizard's hat. Boost attack speed and crit chance it's a memory of you you have theoretically so many to choose from plus five to all stats mm. you guys are like level 45 already yeah because i think it's because we we've already been on an, an adventure so it's like you not you haven't really started from scratch that's why you got the refresher for the t tutorial because technically you already knew those things but you as a player didn't know so it kind of makes sense profile oh he they oh okay okay i like that they have pronouns here though that's cool it's you That's why they said he and they, but I thought that they had already said she as well, so that's why I like... She, her, he, him. And she, her. And they, them. I just assumed that Bonnie was, was a she because of, because of the, the name. Because I never heard a, a guy named that, but that that also that is also fair. I will say them and they they them then. Um, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's just a kid who brought a kid here. I mean, that's my question too. <laughs> weak to cheese, resistant to veggies. <laughs> They're weak to cheese. Uh, researcher of something from Kabu. Her craft knowledge is unparalleled. A fighter from the city of Jovent, he quit his job as a defender to join in this journey. A housemaiden from the town of Dormont, blessed by the change god. 
It's a you. It's a you. <gasps> it's another save point. That's the same light that you saw inside the house. You reach towards the light. You close your eyes. Oh, I'm I'm glad to hear that, Orion. That's good. Yeah, that's why we chose this game for uh, for uh, the Pride Ray Train too. I mean, I didn't know specifics, but I did know that it was supposed to be a good representation. I just didn't know how much it would cover, if I'm being honest. It's not like super tons of the games. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Sifrin, you're up. Oops. You don't know how to act right now. You've seen this once before, so you should maybe act the same. But figure something out, quick. Quick! <laughs> hey, uh, hey again, Mira. Still half asleep, huh? How's your nap? Okay, take two. Say something. Make normal words come out of your mouth. Smart and normal words, go. Yes, correct. I was taking nap time. I was I was taking nap time. <laughs> uh, I like the I like I, I just I I don't know. I just really like my character. <laughs> I really like my character. Uh, all the characters are giving vibes, but you don't know like if it's the coping for you, copium for you. <laughs> but that's good, Orion. How you feel about it is the, mo the, the it's the important thing, you know. I know that. I was there. Oh stars. <gasps> oh, wait, I had something I wanted to ask you. Um. I have an idea for tonight. This will be the night before we go fight the king, so I felt like we couldn't make it special somehow. So I was thinking, how about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together. Sleep in the same room, maybe tell stories. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Suddenly, you remember where this conversation is heading. This is the moment in the conversation where you made Mirabelle upset. Can you change it? Can you change fate? Only one way to find out. Something like... That sounds like an amazing idea, Mira. Yeah? Oh, I'm so glad you think so. I was thinking it was a little silly, but if you think it would be fun, or it could be fun, then great. I can't wait. This will be delightful. I'm smiling just thinking about it. <laughs> Mission complete. <laughs> so you can change things. This was a small change. But if your fate isn't set in stone, then... So, could you let everyone know? I would really appreciate it. Sure. Okay. Let me think. Madame Adil should be in the shop buying items. Bonnie should be near the fields to the east. And Isabella is at the favor tree to the west. We're staying in the clock tower at the east of the town, right past the broken bridge. So you can just tell everyone to meet up there later. That was a lot of names and places. Will you remember? I think so, yes. I always remember things. <laughs> I always remember things. Uh, you, you look like you, you doubt that. Well, unrelated to your memory, here's a note with everyone's location. Just in case you forget. Got the reminder note. You put the note in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Okay. See you at the clock tower later, then. I'll be near the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Oh, and don't forget to check the change god statue, too. Good luck. You wave goodbye. But you're not supposed to do that or, like, reflect yourself on fictional characters, either. Ryan, you are allowed to do that. You are allowed to do that. That's what they're for. That is what they're for. They're supposed to be... Uh, relatable. At least if they're written in a in a like 
well written, I mean. So the others don't like, uh, don't know at all. Then it doesn't seem like it. Also, we're getting an ad very soon, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything. Hold on. Okay, that was slightly different from what you remembered, but still. So it seems you really are repeating the same day, with small differences. And Mirabel doesn't seem to be aware of it. Are you the only one repeating today? I'm sure you do. I mean, I suppose... Oh. So... You should come to the favorite sheet when you have a second. Stardust. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the others know. Um, did it also say you wake up before, like, earlier than when the game started? Yeah, I mean, the game starts uh, with you waking up from a nap. So we could have already been through this before. Except that we don't remember that we've done it. No, I don't, I don't think so. But you're not allowed? You don't know how? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Who, who says that you're not allowed? Are you not allowing yourself? Hey, swag! How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. But I'm sorry that I, I replied to you during the ad break because you might not have heard me then. <laughs> you? Okay, okay. Well, you are totally allowed to do that. I know, I know listening to me over yourself is probably not the... <laughs> helpful but <laughs> it's 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 facts you are allowed you are allowed hold on <laughs> i just checked the 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 butt spawn channel in discord You don't know if it's like trauma thing or autism thing or what, and that makes it extra frustrating and it's also just so hard and kind of relates to things, but... Mm. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. You don't have to talk about it if you, if you don't want to. Hmm. Also, I don't like that it was suddenly all quiet now, during this part. <laughs> during the ad break, then suddenly it gets quiet. You kind of do, but you just literally don't know how. Mm. Well, I hope you're able to eventually, Orion. If you, like, not necessarily today, but someday, you know? That you can say all the things that you want to say. Because I know that's difficult for you. But now we're back. We're back. Um, you should come to the favor tree when you have a second Stardust. I don't know why the sound stopped. What? Hmm. Uh-huh. Since everything got reset, you could ask her about something else this time. Oh, hi. You're one of the savers, aren't you? I recognize you. And you travel with a few people, right? You travel with, um... Isabel? Isabel! What a nice young man. And so full of energy, too. I'm an only child, but I feel like having an older brother like him would be fun. You have to mention it. We're not actually a family, you know? Oh, I know, I know. It's just a fun thought exercise. Um, I just like to think about family dynamics and just families in general. I think that's a normal thing to do. 
mean, I think that's fairly normal to do. Okay. Families, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, traveler. You're off of Volgarn, are you? That's a rumor, at least. Yeah, we're just gonna skip... Yeah, you've talked to them before. Uh, I've been to Pateria once. I said so. How did you like it? Very good place. Fellow theater fan. Nice. We give each other a nod, as fellow theater fans do. <laughs> I'm gonna get a flower now, so this time I can give it. No, it's not here. Ugh, imagine if there's like a, an achievement to give the flower, like give a flower each time time resets and I missed it. So typical, if that's the case. I'm just saying because that's kind of like how one of the achievements are in Mori. And that is so annoying. <laughs> Um, so we'll kind of get to know things more if you go back in time, more times so if you go, like, time loop ability thing, item, like, more than any other characters in the game. It seems so. Big hat. Impossibly warm-looking cloak. You must be one of the people traveling with Mirabelle. She's pretty well known around here. Chosen one, you know? Blessed by the change god with her power to save Vogard. Plus, before all this, she was a housemaid in the house of change nearby. She'd take classes, help out with chores, help the other housemaidens with her studies and craft. Little perfect Mirabelle. Hmm. As for me, I think she's the most wonderful being on earth. I wonder. No wonder the change god blessed her when she's this wonderful. I used to go to the house a lot for my classes, and she was always there to get the class with me. I've never had a class I didn't share with her. She's so cool, so helpful, so driven. Honestly, we're kind of best friends. Even though I never had a single conversation with her. Don't, talking to people is hard, you get it. You don't think she managed to talk to Mirabelle last time? Mirabelle would have mentioned it. You should go and tell Mirabelle yourself. Oh, so like I was like, is it worth talking to the same people again? But that's a cool detail, so maybe it is worth talking to everyone again. <laughs> Oof, look at you. So scrawny. Scrawny one. Did you know we can press X to run? I, I, yeah, okay. I did this earlier as well. How did the controls feel in the game? They feel pretty good. More lore and interactions, yeah. It feels pretty good. I'm just gonna skip through this though. You knew this already, but you suppose it doesn't hurt to get a refresher. I knew about this, yes. Good, good. Yes, now that I'm looking closer at you, you seem like someone who likes to run. You said the opposite last time. What a liar. But you should do more figurative running, unless metaphorical running. Metaphorical running. What I mean is, you like to run from your problems. Oh, damn. I could see it in her face. But you need to learn to face your problems head on, scrawny one. Okay, you need to go. <laughs> I will now figuratively and metaphorically run from this situation. Wise. Very wise. Goodbye, scrawny one. Damn. That hit a bit too close to home. <laughs> Mirabelle is here, sitting on a bench and looking at papers. Hi, Sifrin. Do you need anything? You don't need to talk to your uh, your allies about things you already talked about, but the option is still there, just in case you need a refresher. Questions? <laughs> you have a fan. <laughs> you have a fan. I... I do? You nod and point at the stylish woman's house. I... I don't know whose house it is. A stylish lady? You describe the stylish lady as best you can. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, but stylish ladies aren't very rare in Vogard. <laughs> and I see a lot of people during classes. I'm not smart enough to remember everyone I see. Maybe every, uh, maybe eventually you'll find a way to jog her memory. 
Maybe. Hey, Sifrin. Do you need anything? Anything weird happened lately? Something weird? Um, she looks at the papers she is holding, as if you just accused her papers of being weird. N nothing Nothing's weird. Definitely not my papers. Suspicious. Don't look at them. Tease her a little. I'm gonna... S <laughs> I'm gonna tease her a little. You bring your index finger up. No! Slowly move your finger closer to her papers. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> closer. Mirabel is so worried at the idea of you seeing her papers that she froze. Your finger gets closer. <laughs> and pokes one of the papers. Poke. Stop poking my papers. I feel a little bad. You stop poking the papers. Apart from that, I haven't seen anything weird. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, I mean, I just did it to- I just- because it said teasing, it didn't say that I would actually read them. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna- teasing this fine, you know? It's... But I, I would also feel a little bit bad. See, this character- this character is- <laughs> why is this character so relatable? <laughs> uh... Odile is here looking at what the shop has to offer. Hey, um, Odile. Oh, Sifrin. You look rested. Glad to see you this laid back on the day before the end of the world. Anyway, I can help you. Anything weird happen lately? Weird? Like what? I didn't see anything weird. Did you see anything weird? Too receptive. Nope, nothing at all. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. I do hope you'll let, uh, also let me know if you see something weird. Mm, clock tower. Sleepover. Sleepover? Ugh. You guys really are kids. We can forget about our problems. I suppose so. Nonetheless, I'll be there. Poor Boniface probably needs it. Maybe we all do. The room only has three beds, right? I better get a whole bed to myself. Mir and Bonnie will probably be sharing. Mirabel and Bonnie? So who will sleep on the ground? You or Isabel? Maybe we should just commit to this now. We 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 chose we we I I now it's like I've been playing so much Baldur's Gate that I'm like, is this a romance game too? Because now I'm like, fine, we'll go, we'll go with it. We'll 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 say, thing me and Isa will share. Sure. Fascinating. Anyway, I'll be there. You know, since we already decided earlier, we'd meet at the clock tower, clock tower and all. Hmm. Guess you don't have to talk to everyone again. Anything else? I suppose you don't need to tell her every time. Hmm. Okay, so I don't have to. So do they kind of know that the previous you talked to them without like talking again? No, I think it's just that the game wanted you to talk to them, in general. Um, but they all kind of knew that... When I talked to her earlier, it said that... Everyone had already been invited. I think it was just a way for you to, like, get introduced to the characters. But I, but I can. Wait, I, I can what? Hey, you. A strange adult with a hat. My name. It's Tutorial Kid. My mom says you're very strong and you're, kind of, uh, you're gonna help save us all. But I need to challenge you to know your, uh, your, your strength. So, let's play Rock Band. I hope I can skip this, though. I just want to see. So the Tutorial Kid knows all about battles, huh? You already know a lot, but it won't hurt to get a refresher. Maybe this kid knows things you don't. Any advice? Hmm. I may have advice for you. What do you need? You like advice about... Mm. 
normal attacks. We're just gonna go through them. Normal attacks, huh? Well, any fighter worth their salt knows that normal attacks are weaker than craft skills. But it does not mean they are useless. Unlike craft skills, they do not go into cooldown. And, most importantly, your attack gauge fails a little bit faster after you use a normal attack. Which makes them very good to quickly get those jackpot com combos your heart craves. You like a vice about guarding. Um, like when with the grayed out dialogues, you can talk with them even if you don't have to. Yeah, yeah. Is this new? It is new, I think. I didn't think I had this option before. Uh, guarding, huh? It goes without saying that. If an enemy attacks you while you're guarding, the damage you take will be halved. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, I said halved, but I like, halved? No, halved. And then they, they corrected themselves too. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm sorry. Is, is this is this game meant for for like uh, neurodivergent people? I just I just feel like it's 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 very it's very on point in a lot of ways. Is is what I'm saying? I just I just feel like it's 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 just too good <laughs> in that sense. It feels more like it every minute. Yeah. <laughs> Halved. Making quite literally the difference between life and death. It also makes your attack gauge feel a little slower because you're waiting for hits, you know? Only losers don't guard. Hmm. Buffs and debuffs. Buffs and debuffs, huh? They're pretty self explanatory, aren't they? There's one thing. A tool of the trade, if you will. Crafting a buff twice won't actually make the buff twice as powerful, so you can forget about that. <laughs> okay, so we know it doesn't stack. What it does do is reset the amount of time it will be effective. It will reset the amount of time it will be effective. Wow. So if you only have one turn left with an attack buff, and you craft it again, instead of lasting only one turn, it will last three. Oh, nice. Bet you didn't know that, huh? I didn't. I did not. Escaping battles. Escaping battles, huh? You can escape most battles by pressing B when it's any of your friend's turn. You won't get any experience, but... As I've heard, no experience is better than being defeated. I mean, you can technically get experience from being defeated too, but in, in, in a different way, you know? You won't always be able to escape battles though. Some enemies won't let you. That's just how it is. Nothing. Talk later, tutorial kid. Let us see each other again. In the arena. The arena? Can we talk to the old man again? I, I'm, I'm saying man, but I think it's a woman. But I, it could be either. Horrifying, isn't it? A beautiful house of change warped into such a terrible shape. The king waits inside waits for the entire entire country to finally be frozen in time. So pray for your victory tomorrow. I suppose the king will have to wait a little longer. Or I mean, I think we have to wait to do this again. <gasps> no, we can't do it again. Wait, no, 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 um, now that you're here, you'd like to check the favor tree. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I wanted to come back instead. Isabeau is here, probably pondering what favor to ask the tree. Hey, uh, Isa. 
Hey, uh, Sif, are you still half asleep? You should stop taking forever. Uh, you should stop taking forever naps, Sif. Naps give you cotton brain. His dialogue is different. Anyway, I was just looking at the favorite tree. Isn't this tree cool? Oh, wait. You remember this? You remember this? Yeah, it is. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> but I, I'm sad that we didn't get the the greeting again. That was that was the fun part. That that's why like this this is this is the one. This is this if we're gonna romance anyone, this is the person because we we click we click so well, you know. But I, I'm sad we didn't get to see it again. <laughs> Did I get the flower? No, I didn't. Which was kind of sad. Shit. I was supposed to give the flower. Didn't get to do the greeting thing, but he still matched your greeting. That's true. That's true. One could say it's a pretty, uh, uh huh. Tremendous tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. You both laugh. Laughing uproariously, he raises his hand towards your shoulder. It stops and brings it to his side. You see, now it all makes sense. He 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 was about to to, to put his hand on your shoulder, but took it took it away before he did it. Because he has feelings, and he doesn't want to show it, so he's being extra careful. I I understand now. I didn't understand it before, but I understand it now. Didn't he do this before? What a weird gesture. Is it? I mean, is it? it, it I mean, it is, but there's a reason it's weird. Huh. That was funny. Anyway. The tree feels weird somehow. Or maybe it's just me. What? The tree feels weird? Yeah. Like, it feels weird. But not mean. Like, if a lion came towards you and offered you some candy, that'll be weird, right? That kind of weird. It's weird in an off way. I guess. What? Did you say that last time? <laughs> He didn't, but uh, I feel like this is something that would be more interesting to ask now, because what if his reaction will be last time? What do you mean? Did you say last time? Last time? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I just started feeling like this now. The tree feels weird. Maybe you should go take a look at it. Um, I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree, but do you want to talk before I go? Um, anything weird happened lately? Yeah, a tree. I told you, something falls off. But I have other things to worry about, so who cares? Hmm. We're gonna do the sleepover thing again, huh? A sleepover? Crab, yeah. Doesn't the clock tower have only three beds, though? I'm guessing Bonbon bon and Mira will share, and Madame Odile will take her own. Which means we'll share beds again, Sif. So I got dips on, <laughs> I got dips on the left side. <laughs> hmm. Sure. Yay, yeah. But please try not to hog the cover uh, covers this time. It's getting cold at night. It would probably be really disappointed if I said Mira. <laughs> Isabeau said the tree felt weird. You decide to take a look at the tree. You're getting so invested in this game now? That's good, I'm glad. The favor tree. Yeah, this is what you missed last time. Well, I mean, to be fair, this is new to me too. But just walking up to the tree, I mean. Isabel said the tree felt weird. And you heard someone telling you to come here, didn't you? 
com os sabores. You walk towards the tree. The tree is so big. Everything under it is dark as night. But you feel like someone is here, sitting at the foot of the tree, looking at you. Cautiously, with a hand on your dagger, you walk towards the base of the tree. Well, uh, you found some. You found someone, all right. Uh, hello, stranger. What? <laughs> I'm <laughs> in stars and time. Is this is this the stars part of time? I was gonna say something, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Uh, star. My, struck speeches at the sight of me, aren't you? Well, I'm saying that the game is called In Stars and Time. And the, the the star here was sitting in a very I don't know, seductive type of way. I'm and I'm I'm not I'm getting I'm getting weird vibes from this 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 one. You're so cute, Stardust. Yeah, see he's flirting with me. Flirting with me now. <laughs> or they are flirting with me, I guess. <laughs> Man, you're so cute, Stardust. Stardust? Um. Oh, Sephirin, look at you. All lost and confused. Huh? Wait. Uh, how do you know my. How wouldn't I know? You're Sif. Sifrin. No middle names, no last name. Just Sifrin. I shouldn't wonder why you look like this, though. It makes sense that you'd feel overwhelmed. Considering this is our first loop and all. Huh? How do you... Oh, of course I know, Stardust. I know about you. I know about, I know about your party. About the loops. About that funny silver coin you carry. Alright, that's it. Can you stop talking, please? Oh, stars, no need to yell. Let's take a deep breath in and out. Okay. Breathe with me. Let's go. In. Your head hurts and your hands are shaking. And your heart is beating like it's about to explode, so you probably should. Slowly. Following the actual being, you breathe in and out. Phew. All right. Who am I, right? Mm, well, let's see. Let's go with... Loop. Your ally, Loop, here to help you with the loops. Easy to remember, right? And for pronouns, you may address me with the royal we. Oh, we're we, are we? I see. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Ah, yes, that's true, isn't it? Then you stay them for me. Yeah, because like, uh, saying we is like, but, but that's you, not me. So how can I say we when it's you, you know? <laughs> The dialogue sounds that also sounds a little different in a specific way. Hmm. Then use they them for me. I'm sure you'll think about me all the time, so you might as well know what pronouns to use. 
Yeah, better know this one's pronouns so you can think very clearly in your head. They're getting on your nerves. Your turn, you guess. I use he, they, I know. It's in your profile. Well, we already found the profile. <laughs> well, that's good to know. <laughs> I can read, you know. My what now? Anyway, Stardust, I'm here to help. Ask whatever questions your little heart desires. Yep, full-blown headache now. Ugh. Questions, questions. You said I'm, uh, looping? Oh, getting right into it. I like it, Stardust. Are you sitting down? You better sit down. You're gonna get a lot of info at once. You sit down. <laughs> Look at the little feet. <laughs> so. You're stuck in a time loop. Fun, right? Which means that every time you die, you look back, uh, you'll loop back and you'll get to try it all over again. No matter how horribly or stupidly you die, like, let's say, crushed by a giant rock, you will always come back. They saw that? Did you see? Of course I saw, Stardust. How can I help if you don't know what you're doing? If I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I was kind of breaking the fourth wall moment. You don't know a better word for it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the profile thing. Yeah, it's kind of like it's just telling you how to use um, things in your profile. Like, in, in your uh, menu. Um, How can I help if you don't know... Uh, if I don't know what you're doing? Also, you probably noticed a lot of things got reset, right? Your party members are saying the same things. All the items you got while you were in the house disappeared. Yeah, you notice, you notice your pockets got emptier. Because I didn't pick anything up yet, right? Stardust, you smart cookie. You got it. Soon we'll have to pick them up again. If you want. Which you probably should. Since you got a long road ahead of you. So what about... I have to pick up keys again too? Every time. Well, until you learn. Huh? Learn what? Anyway, this is a lot of information, but don't worry. I'll pick things up as you go along. Oh, but your weapons and equipment won't get reset, though. Or be reset. So that's good news. Isn't it nice that you get to keep your cool, powerful equipment? Especially since you, Stardust, will keep whatever experience you have, but the rest of your party won't. Oh. Compensate by having powerful weapons equipped. Your friends won't grow when they get experience like you. You guess it makes sense since they won't remember whatever enemies you face. Speaking of your party, you can tell them about the loops if you want. They might be able to help. Nothing is keeping you from telling them, so... Um, why? Why would I tell them? Why wouldn't you? Don't you need help? Uh, you just learned that you can start again as many times as you want and fix your mistakes. Why will you need help? You're the one in a position to help your friends here. I don't really need their help. Right, because you got me. Not what you meant. Questions, questions. <laughs> Not the loot! I know, I know. Imagine one day you notice your friends is like super OP very suddenly. Yeah, anime logic. No, I'm just <laughs> what should I do now? Hmm, let's see. Have you tried not dying? That is such a typical response to someone who is like dying over and over again in a game. It's like, have you tried not dying? And as a streamer, that gets really old. <laughs> that gets really old. Have you tried not dying? <laughs> no, maybe I should make- you know what? Maybe. 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 I should try that. I don't know. Just an idea. Just go back to the house and try again. And maybe die again. Guess we'll see. Remember. No death is wasted. 
Thanks, that was useless. Was it though? Any advice? Advice. Yes. I have advice. Don't eat pineapples. You're allergic. What is it with this game? I've literally said, like, that is like the one thing that I can't eat. Well, I mean, I can't eat it. I can eat it, but I get reactions to it. I have reactions. Like, I, I don't have any allergies, but I get reactions when it comes to pineapple. And, and just, just thinking about it is, is making my, my head sweat right now. Am I? You really are. Don't try it. Oh, you look so steamed. <laughs> I literally said my... <laughs> my head is starting to sweat. Okay, real advice, real advice. While you were talking to your party, didn't you see a weird symbol appear? Two little triangles, maybe? I did see that. I assumed that... I was gonna say that, but I just said it in my own head, so you, I should have said it out loud. But I, I thought it meant... It will, it will show a specific number of triangles, depending on how many times you have had to, like, loop. Does the game actually see me? I mean, maybe. <laughs> we'll try it. You can't see it now, but it, it happened when I talked to uh, the other people in my party. Yeah, two little triangles, maybe. It might happen with some conversations you've ha uh, heard before. If you see it, you can zone out by pressing the X button. Okay. Yeah, at first I was like, is this just to skip the dialogue because I've done it before? But then I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe it's more like a symbol of me having looped, I guess. But no, it was, it was, it's just a fast forward symbol. It makes you stop listening and makes conversation go faster. No point in staying aware, uh, aware of conversations you've already experienced, huh? Let's try it with the next text box so you know how it works. I'm talking now, so press X whenever. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You did it. It'll take some time for you to get used to it, but it'll save you time for sure. You might miss what your party's saying, but who cares, right? If you make them mad, you can always loop back, and they'll have forgotten all about it. If you want me to say it another way, if you see the icon during a conversation, press X to fast forward through it. Ow, 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 ow. You don't know how they did that, but their voice resonated through your head. You've heard that voice before. Yesterday. Well, in another version of today, really. So they were the voice you've been hearing, giving you advice. See, I'm you see, I'm useful. I'm very useful. So I'm here. Helpful loop. That is useful, but why are you helping me? Because I think you should be helped. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty straightforward. I won't always have the answers, but... I think having someone on your side to talk to is better than dealing with this alone. I mean, that's true. The other person could feel a bit like if you're not listening, or do they just not notice? I don't know. I don't know. Right? But I never asked for your help. Tough luck, Stardust. I'll still help you out. All right, that's all I have for you right now, but don't forget to come to me when you feel stuck, okay? I'll be right here under this tree. Don't forget, bye. They wave at you excitedly. You awkwardly, awkwardly wave back as you go. Loop, huh? 
They're a little annoying, but if you do find yourself stuck at some point, or just need someone to talk to, they might be able to help. Hey, Stardust. How can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Hmm. So you don't get to make a wish anymore? Apparently not. I mean, I don't think so. What should I do next? What you should do? Well, well, stars, I don't know. Did you get to go... Did you get to the top of the house so you can fight the king yet? I don't know. Just an idea. Come on, Stardust. You can do it. I believe in you. Ugh. You're so helpful. I really am. Thank you for noticing. Don't worry. I know there's uh, that big pesky chap in the way, but I'm sure you'll find a way around it. If you just look. Anything else? Hmm. Let's talk about something. Sure. What do you want to talk about? Can you read my thoughts? No, I just have a very good intuition. Like somehow I can tell what you're trying, uh, what you're about to say. So weird. Suspicious. I don't trust this star person. If I'm being honest. Not fully. What? Me? Suspicious? Hmm. Say it ain't so. Hmm. I had a question about... <laughs> Mira has a fan. <laughs> she does. But she doesn't actually remember meeting her fan, even though they shared... Even though they shared classes together. How devastating. I wonder if there's a way to make her remember. Hmm. Should I check everything again? You mean, should you check the same barrels, the same closets, the same objects on tables every loop? I mean, you can, but... You know things won't change, right? If you really want to go get, uh, to get a certain item again, or listen to your friends repeat something funny, you should. I personally would only check two or three uh, things every loop, and ignore the rest. It will just make you crazy to expect something to change, when nothing will. All that might change is your reaction to it. Hmm. Actually, no. Nothing. See you later, Stardust. They weigh about you excitedly. You awkwardly way back as you go. Okay. Damn, that was a long conversation. <laughs> you have thoughts? This game feels so aware. Hmm. Still here looking down at you. Would the change god be mad if you got a blessing again? Would it know? You, uh, believe strongly, or whatever. And your hits will be su will super hurt. Uh, you'll be super fast. You know, we're gonna be super fast. Always attack first. Don't leave the enemy a chance to touch you. You repeat under your breath super fast, super fast, super fast. You actually feel a little faster. You jump in place, trying to notice if anything changed. You jump right, in, uh, right on a pointy rock. You don't tear up. Not that much agile, then. <laughs> you and your friend's attack speed got boosted a little. Once per loop, you can go to the change god statue and boost one of your stats. The effects of the statue will be reset every time you go back to Dormont. So every time you loop back here, don't forget to go to the change god statue, okay? You close your eyes. That I do. You'll probably still interact with everything. Yeah, I'm like, I, I'm tempted to like, do I trust this one? Should I still go and interact with everything? Is the, Are they lying to me? <laughs> wow. Okay, that's enough for this loop. You think the change gone for its blessing and quickly run away. Uh... 
Uh, where was the flower again? Was it up here? Probably. Hello. Ah, oh, aren't you one of the saviors traveling with Mirabelle? You're doing so much for us. I wish I could help you in some way. I know. I grow flowers, beautiful flowers that can make someone you like happy. Let's see how it goes with the... Got the bright flower. Put the flower in your pocket along with your souvenirs. You got the flower again. You could give it to someone else this time. But I didn't give it to anyone the first time. Yeah, the, the screen does. It, it, it does do that. Mirabella is here, staying on a bed. Let's see. We can try giving her the flower. Oh! For me? Thank you, Sifrin. <laughs> this is a nice gift. I'll make sure to press it in a book so I can keep it forever. She seems happy. Okay. Let's see you later. I feel like... I, I'm gonna bet that it's like... There's like an achievement for giving a flower each time you leap. I'm so sure of it and I missed it because I forgot that I had the flower. It's really annoying. <laughs> I feel like there's something there. Yeah, it's it it gives it gives like a, a little bit of an ominous vibe to it as well. The little girl making a frog embroidery seems too shy to make eye contact with you. I'm gonna say hi this time and see what happens. Hi. She seems shy. You like frogs? Yes. Me too. They're totally awesome. Okay, that was worth it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> totally. Like toads. <laughs> Success. Okay, that was worth doing. <laughs> I just left her alone before because I was like, well, if she's shy, I'm not going to push her. But hey, she seemed happy. Sifrin, you're here. We were waiting for you. Let's go inside. I'm so hungry. I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. <laughs> As you're about to take another samosa to munch, munch on, you hear Loop's voice and try not to jump. Ah, sorry, sorry. So, here again, huh? Don't worry, you'll get the zone out during this entire event if you want. There's something. You're able to zone through most conversations you've seen at least once, yes. Some of them might be slightly different. Oh, don't stress out about it. Don't worry, if it was really important, You'd stop zoning out immediately. But remember that just because you can zone out doesn't mean that events that doesn't mean the events will be exactly the same. Yeah, that's also why I like I don't know if I want to use the zoom like the, the, the fast forward option. So to zone out and miss some small things or to listen to it all again. What a dilemma. Actually it's not a dilemma, not for me. <laughs> That's all. Bye, Stardust. Hm. You go back to your samosa. Phew. It's not a dilemma for you either. <laughs> bon Bon. Hmm. That was delicious. You keep getting better at cooking, Boniface. Those samosas were delicious. Really? It wasn't bad? You liked it? I mean, of course, it was delicious. I'm a master cooker, you know. Chef. I'm a chef cooker. That was the perfect meal, Bonnie. We're, we'll all sleep well tonight and be full of energy tomorrow. It was almost too much, to be honest. I don't think I can move. You didn't eat much this time. Your stomach feels weird. You... You didn't like it? Uh-oh. I'm just not very hungry. But you're always hungry. I am always hungry. That is very suspicious. <laughs> uh, may have eaten some bread earlier. Sifrin, how could you do this to poor Boniface? Look at them. They're pouting so hard they're about to explode. Mmm. Kaboom. I exploded. Sifrin was destroyed on impact. 
beautiful explosion. It's different. You died because you're hu <laughs> You died because of your hubris. <laughs> How regrettable. Was it just me that died? Yes. You were the only casualty. It's fine then. You still dramatically fall over for good measure. No. How could this happen? Um, everyone, can I say something? What's up, Mira? Um, we, we've all been traveling together for a while now. It hasn't always been easy, but meeting you all, traveling through Volgar to get the orbs needed to open the house, house's gate again. There's no way I could have done this alone. I, uh, I want to say thank you for coming to, uh, coming with me this far. But tomorrow, we're going to fight the king. Someone who has thrown Volgar into stillness and silence. We have seen this before, so I'm just gonna, like, read through it fast. Someone who is now frozen all of Volgard in time. Yeah, I'll do my best to make sure this doesn't happen to any of you. But if you don't want to come, if you want to go back home, I would. Kinda light for that, Mirabelle, isn't it? I know. I... And by that, Madame Odile means that we're with you. Of course I do. We've come this far, after all. Did you really think we'd leave you behind? That you go alone. We'll follow you, Belle. We'll help. Don't worry. We'll stay with you, Mira. For as long as you can. Oh. Well, thank you. Isabel and Bonnie hug Mirabelle tightly, while you and Odile stand a bit apart like always. This one the audience at a theater would, theater would say aww. Let's go to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. Indeed. Then, good night, everyone. Good night. Sif. Hey. Hey, Sif. Sifrin. Sifaruni. Isabel is whispering your name. Turn on and listen. Um, sorry. To wake you up, I just have to tell you something. If that's okay. You can't with this? You didn't get to the king, so you don't know what he wants to tell you. You nod. Okay, okay, okay. Then I shall tell you the thing. The thing I woke you up to tell you. Ah, uh, um, okay. So, the thing I have to tell you is that I... I, I don't have anything to tell you right now. But I will. When, um, when we beat the king tomorrow. Okay? That's still so ominous, Isa. It, it, it's not meant to be. I, uh, just don't want to tell you right now. It might distract you. And we wouldn't want that, right? So, um, I'll tell you when we beat the king. Okay? You haven't gone to the king yet, so you still don't know what he wants to say. So curious. But the only thing you can say is okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, some people are trying to sleep. Yay, Isabeau. Some people are trying to sleep. Close your mouth and sleep. You close your mouse. N mouse. You close your mouse. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I didn't. No! <laughs> you didn't hear that. You close your mouth, housemaiden. You're gonna wake up Madame Odile. I'm already up. <laughs> and if the noise continues, I will stand up. <laughs> you do not want to know what will happen if I stand up. Sorry. Sorry, Madame. Sorry. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. That was a very unfortunate IRL uh, typo. Good night, Siv. You think about how far you still have to go before beating the king. 
and fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the I mean, yeah. Yeah. Can't be open 24-7, that's true. Uh, the house's gate. You look up at it. The house's gate, huh? It's bigger than I thought. So scary. It really is locked shut. I see space for us to put the orbs. This whole adventure. This whole journey. But all this time. I can finally open it. Ah, my orb right here. Let's go for it then. There no save point here? Do I have to go through all of this stuff again? <gasps> oh, up ahead. That's the same sadness as before. Sadness, huh? The house must be crawling with them. Okay, everyone, let's um don't get overwhelmed now. Come on. We've seen tons of those already. Don't worry, Belle. We can take care of them, no problem. Okay, but last time she felt better after talking strategy. You could do that again, or you could, you know, save time. Hmm. Let's see what happens if we just skip it. Let's just defeat it. She'll be fine anyway, won't she? I mean, we might... Something might happen. Something we don't want, but we need to see how this plays out. She'll be fine anyway, won't she? Uh, okay. You'll be okay, Mira. Uh, yes. Let's go, everyone. Monster time. Nothing too bad. Hopefully not. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Um... Give it to, to, to him again. Smash. Mirabelle, Tom. Get her to give her to turn up to. I can't. Okay. Well, we can just do a regular attack. Let's see how that goes. There we go. Wait. That wasn't enough? Breathe in and out. We did it! See, Mira? It wasn't that bad. Going through the house will be a piece of cake. You smell and take the lead. Ah! I just wanted to save first. Cleaver by half. Jolly Round Rondo. Sure. Oh, damn. That did a lot of uh, damage. Uh, yeah. He shouldn't do anything now. Oh, that's paper attack. Never mind. There we go. Oh. 
<laughs> well, this this is this is fast. Why is he the only one who gets attacked? <laughs> yeah, we should uh, give this to her. Paper. Damn, that was a. Powerful attack. The battle music is very neat. <laughs> Apart from the menu music, I probably like the music in the background here the most, but it's literally the same melody, it's just a different sound. Like it's the. Reaching out, you touch the light. Everyone has healed. Your friend's crafting skills and experience has been recorded for this location. Save your progress? Yes. A storage room. Let's look around. Uh, items to pick up again. Yeah, I'm just gonna- I'm, I'm not gonna read out everything. I'm not gonna skip the dialogue, but I'm not gonna read out everything. If it's the same as before. Do we really need items? Oh? I'm surprised to hear this from you, since you just love to pick up random things. Of course we need those items. Tonics, juices. Those items will keep our health up and are integral to our survival. We can't always count on Mirabel to heal us. Don't hesitate to use tonics or items in battles if you get overwhelmed. This seems important. You decide to remember those words. It'll be bad to be beaten in battle because you forgot about the items you carry. True. You got a memory of tonics. You'll always remember this. When memory of tonics is equipped, any tonic the re researcher uses will recover more HP. Oh, that's useful. Can I give it to someone else though? Um, like he has gotten attacked very often, but maybe she should use it. This is how you remember her. Plus five to all stats. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Maybe not. Oh, it's just five plus to all stats for everyone. Okay, so only I can use that then. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, so who got the the memory that we just got? Oh, she got the memory of tonics. I see, I see. Health items used by Odile turns battle during battle will restore more HP. Ah, we don't need it just yet. What happens if you don't have memory of yourself? I think it's just that we we don't um um don't get the extra like the 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 effects that it gives. I don't think it means anything besides that, but I I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Uh, got a bell pendant. Hmm, you wonder if you could use the chain for- You could find a chain for it somewhere? Ding ding. Uncrafted water. If someone gets knocked out during battle, da da da. 
Dann. Some small glass containers. You look around, you found a sour tonic. Ding ding. <laughs> I think we're gonna get any new new dialogue here. But I also don't want to skip it in case it actually shows something. In case it shows something new. But yeah, I think this is where we're gonna end today though. It's, it's a little past 11 p.m. for me. And, uh... I think it's a good good stopping point. Because then it's right uh, before... Where we died. So it's like we... You know? So close to 3 <laughs> Close, close enough. Yeah, I really like this music. This is my- this is probably the best music so far. It's nice. I really enjoy this game, though. I- even- like, now that we've seen even more, I just- I just really enjoy it a lot. It's- it's very- it, it feels very relatable to. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn on some music here. Yeah, I, I have not turned on any lights because it was so bright outside when I started streaming. So it's pretty dark here now. <laughs> I usually have a lot of lights on um, at this time, but it's mostly when I start uh, later than I do on Tuesdays. And the, the witch hat fits on, on my headset. Or on my headphones. <laughs> I didn't expect that. But yeah, I really like this game too. I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I just like... I saw the the, the rating on, on Steam was overwhelmingly positive. And it's similar to two of my favorite games. So I was like, you know... I'm not gonna have any expectations. But I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna like it at least. And I, I am really enjoying it a lot. So I'm looking forward to playing more on... It's gonna be on next Tuesday though. Um, because this is gonna be my Tuesday game now. And then we're gonna continue playing more Baldur's Gate tomorrow. Um, I want I want to just keep playing Baldur's Gate until I'm done with it now because we're so close. <laughs> we are so close. Um, so hopefully it won't be won't be too too long. And uh, you know who we we should raid though. I think we should raid. We can raid uh, April today. She's playing Tell Me Why, which is also a game that was um, the, the part of the, the games that are like a game, like a book club that uh, that is for games and not books <laughs> in CKT. And it's it's also an LGBTQI plus LGBTQIA plus um, game that someone else also was playing during the raid train this weekend. So, uh, it seems like a good, a good, uh, good transition to, to go into, to her stream as well. Uh, Sarah was also playing it for, uh, like, like earlier this month. But it was super fun stream. I'm glad you liked it. I also had a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm really enjoying it. I'm looking forward to playing more. <laughs>
Yeah, let us let us raid April. Let's, let's go go raid April. Oh, I'm getting recommended in Stars and Time streams. But I don't want I don't want to get spoiled because everyone is farther along than me. So you know, I don't I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, let's go raid April. Let's go wait April. She's also part of the cool kids table. I hope you want to stick around and, and uh, say hi. She's good people. We have we have quite a few uh, of the same, like, similar taste in games. A lot of them, at least. And she also plays a lot of cozy, chill games, too. But yeah, thank you so much for being here, everyone. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. We are gonna do House of Hope tomorrow. No, House of Grief, I mean. House of Grief tomorrow in Baldur's Gate 3. Which means we will finish uh, Shadow Hearts questline. So that's gonna be interesting uh, as an evil character. <laughs> um, House of Pain, you know. But yeah, thank you so much for being here. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.